great compliment. It's not cut, not terrible. It could be way worse. <sighs> okay. All righty, Jode. Here we are. I wonder if anyone's going to show up because they're like, what? Wednesday? Wednesday? What the heck? I know. It is a Wednesday. We've established a Thursday routine for years now. That's okay. Maybe people will just show up later. Later. Okay. I didn't. Okay. Okay. So I was, I popped into work really quick because we're traveling tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So I'm not feeling rushed, but I was like, I had none of my pop. This morning, so I had to grab some at work. Uh huh. And do you normally drink pop first thing in the morning? No. But I feel like lots I don't, of people do. I don't want to be like their coffee, like their diet I don't want to be yawning. Coffee. You don't want to be yawning? No. So I, I opened the window so we don't overheat. So I'm hoping, you know, that little breeze will keep us awake. Jody, that looks so you took my sparkle tea mug. Of course, when that's I saw, so cute. I had a. I had a regular cup. You David's have... Tea does these double walled glass mugs and there's glitter. So like as you're drinking, there's all this glitter. Like your tea looks fabulous because it's all glittery. Um, of course I picked the glitter. And I got one for myself and I got Georgia something else because we both love a good mug. And she keeps stealing mine. So I ended up, when I saw another sparkle one, I got her. So there's, we've got two sparkle mugs now. Hand washed. Just saying, right. There's only 28 other mugs. Hands off. I know, but sparkles, come on. Oh, I know. Totally irresistible. Although it's funny. I don't know that I would pick sparkles, but Georgia would gravitate towards a sparkle. And hers mark. is very blue. Like, this is super multicolored and gold, and the, the one they did the after this was very, like, blue and silver. Yeah. And so pretty. Anyway, good morning. Good morning. We were just saying that we're probably messing with everybody because it's a Wednesday, and it's... 10.30 our time instead of 9.30, which we normally do. Well, so. then maybe we'll get some friends watching that couldn't normally on Thursdays. Maybe, right? Maybe. So Maddie's on spring break this week. That's exciting. Yesterday felt like a Friday. So is she just sleeping? Hanging out with friends and sleeping. Yeah. 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 Do you like spring break? Come on. Well, and our weather, like two days ago, we had this crazy snowstorm. And yeah. now it's super melted, very sunny, not hot, of course, but it's beautiful like it makes you feel happy oh. like it's the sunny days and the it snow is, is melting the mood for me don't totally changes when it's blue sky me too feeling good it's above zero it's melting i agree i love it 100 percent. a hundred percent so Hi, it's great Doc. i'm super excited about spring mm -hmm. even though it's the most disgusting few weeks of the year here Oh, no, Everything is like muddy. It's messy. And if you have dogs, it's a nightmare. I, I bet you Nancy in Trinidad isn't worrying about mud puddles. Right. I bet you Nancy is not worrying about that. Um, and like 15 minutes ago, I was cleaning up dog barf. So, so far the dogs are in the bad house today. Okay. Some, this is so dogs funny. are in the dog house. Sometimes when my cats throw up, sometimes <laughs> they get an air ball, right? And then they throw up their food. I secretly wish my dogs would eat it so I don't have to clean it up. <laughs> well, it's not a secret anymore. Right. Yes, oh. Maddie's driving all by herself. She has gotten her driver's license. She got her license. Crazy town. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I'm making a giant mess this morning, but whatever. Wipe it with a sock. So what? It's all super wash. I'll just use my pattern. Sure. As my sure. Coaster. So, so yeah, three weeks. That's what, yeah, Did, three weeks. Cake. Did that go by in a blink or is that just me? No, we say that all the time. Whether it's one week, two week, or three weeks, it's like, right. what? We're doing that again tomorrow? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so three weeks, three weeks went by so quick. I'm crazy excited for Knit City Montreal. We leave tomorrow. Did you see the terrible weather? Yes. I feel like the weather is for us. We're nor We're used to that weather. <laughs> if we're going to feel very welcome yeah. in the crap weather that Montreal is going to have. Um, which is kind of a bummer because I was hoping to wander around a little bit at some point, a little bit like old Montreal or something like that. Yeah. We'll see what happens. I'm super flexible. I have a feeling I'll be back, so I'm not super worried about it. Sure. But, um, yeah, the weather's not going to be great, but no. I am it's the same Jody. I haven't packed. I've been kind of mentally going, okay, make sure that's clean. Make I just have to throw it all together this afternoon, but I'm very, very, very excited. Me too. We'll I check did... us in on our flight after this. Yes. Oh, 
I'm secretly wishing, I'm secretly thinking Amber's <laughs> going to be at the airport oh. going, hi. Right. Wouldn't that be amazing? Like she took the day off. Wouldn't that be amazing? Do you think she's trying to... She took the day off to catch a flight, is what I'm hoping. Right. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to, if if not, we're going to miss our travel buddy yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This weekend. Um, but next time. Exactly. No, we're going to look for a new travel buddy. <laughs> I was going to say, it better be next time. Right. That's so um, funny. So, so yeah, free one. Casey, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. We also have a shout out to do. Carolyn. Is it? Charlotte? Charlotte. Our pal. Okay. Charlotte. Yes. yes. I'm so sorry. No. No. no yeah, because you're probably thinking of something else. Yeah. But you are so right. We heard from Charlotte's husband a couple weeks ago. And Charlotte just passed an amazing milestone. And we really wanted to shout her out and tell her how much we love her. And... She's been sitting at home going through cancer treatment. Yeah. And, and finished. She just had her last infu cancer or chemo infusion. So, Charlotte, you are shout good. out to you. Uh, big hugs to you. You know, I, I th she said, of course, that there was so many hours at home, right? Where you're just watching yes. Feeling YouTube awful, probably. and all of that stuff. So, she's a huge crafter, crocheter, knitter. And so, she was watching all kinds of things. And, um... From what I can tell, her husband's a giant sweetheart. Yes. You know, for me, a husband that reaches, like, he's very sweet. And very very, that's a very romantic gesture for me. It really wife. was. He said he was thinking about doing those, what's that called? Those celebrity cameo. cameo. But he goes, really? <laughs> that's not what she wants. She would want a shout out from you. And it was like, okay. I will take, I will take that. Like, what a, true, what a, what a wonderful thing. So, um, we're sending our love to Charlotte and hugs to Kiko, her husband. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a big deal, right? Yes. And we hope all is well. Yes. With you. And now you world. can rest and recover and knit. Hopefully totally, knit. Totally. Totally. All the things. Yeah. Um, okay. You so, got the C right. You were so oh close. God, I knew I was close. Right? Can you believe I remember that? No. I was going to say, I'm so glad you remembered. Right. I actually, um, I had a lot of fun the last two weeks cranking tubes. Jody, I was trying to get my knitting together for today and thought, I have very little knitting, but you'll see that there are big things. I only knit a sweater and a half. It's been three weeks and I finished a sweater and then half a sweater. So oh, really, yeah, I have lots of fun things to share. At the um, end of our last podcast, we were just talking about, we should knit a love note. Love note. And just spontaneously decided to do this knit along on Instagram. Aren't you so glad we did, Jody? It was so much fun. Yeah. Do you know how many people have been knitting how along many people, with us? How many people? So many. Like we made a hashtag, which, which was I follow the best. Yeah. Because then you can see everybody's stuff, and it's people from all over the world that have been either meaning to knit a love note, or you know, halfway through a love note, just cast on a love note, knitting their third love note, like we did. Um, it was so cool. And the a wonderful ladies, Alexa and uh, Emily of Tin Can Knits, saw our post and they were like, hey, can we offer a prize for this fun knit along? No, nope. Alexa, <laughs> and I, cannot. And she said, I'd love to gift our digital ebook library. All seven books. So we're going to pick a winner today off of Instagram. And they are going to get That's all seven books patterns i don't know how many patterns that even is so many so many dozens um, i'm gonna imagine so that someone's gonna win that today i mean how fun to just the community the feel of it that everyone's knitting along and doing the same thing at the same time it well, felt really really good i actually star is here she thank you star for being here but star did a short sleeved one short stars is yeah star is one of those Beautiful people knitter. she knits a ton and i always think Ooh, I've got to have to remember that. Like what she did, she yes. chooses awesome colors. She makes really cool modifications. Um, she I is agree. such a, a awesome person. Yeah. So it was fun watching the hashtag because there was always there was a lot of this is more this is not my first love note. Yeah. But I love it that there was a lot that is my first love note. Yes. And we wanted to we thought this was a really fun idea. 
Because we love this shape so much. And because we were so late to the party. Like if you're just knitting a love note and just figuring out yeah. how awesome this pattern is, we know where you're coming from. Yes. <laughs> because it came out and then Knit City came and literally every third person was wearing yeah. a love note at Knit City. We're like, what? Because <laughs> we looked at the pattern and thought, six millimeter needles and fingering weight yarn and mohair and cropped. Yeah. The that's cropped not, was gone. I don't yes. think that's going to work for me. Yeah. I couldn't be more wrong. Yeah. So anyway, it's amazing. I'm just going to quickly look up. There are so many um, projects on, on Ravelry. And this is certainly not everybody that's knit everything. But there's over 9,000 yeah. projects on Ravelry. Yeah. One thing that I... In three years. Yeah, so that's not, it's not that old. May 2019. So then Knit City would have been October. So in five months, yeah. it was yeah. everywhere, right? So this sweater is so easily customizable. Ugh. Not Okay, so a couple of things. We've knit without the lace. So we had talked about before, I knit, I've never knit one with the lace. I meant Tracy to grab has. one with the lace, but I'm really, I don't um, run upstairs. The only thing we did, I didn't do any modifications other than knit straight rows through however many lace rows there were. You did cast on with a provisional cast on? No. Okay, that's a modification. Oh, sorry, a modification. So I feel like that modification, you have to have some knowledge of, of knitting. A little bit, for sure. Because normally you would just start here with a provisional cast on. Yeah. And then down. Yeah. And then when you're finished, you pick up here, knit these decreases, and then the ribbing. Right. And I did that with my first one. I did not. I don't know what. And it, this is not the pattern. I don't know what happened. But I, my neck, my neck was a little more open than I wanted last time. Right. So that was when I was knitting this one, I thought to myself, I would like my neck to be slightly narrower. Yeah. Um, and I don't know what I did, but now this one I feel like is just barely big enough. I could have had a couple of extra inches. Really? Yeah. Okay. But I did the same thing as you. I went to the end of the pattern and looked at how many stitches your ribbing ends up being for this. And I just cast on for that. Exactly. If I wear, I am totally going to another one. Yeah. That's how much I love this pattern. I think what I would do is a stretchy cast on of some kind like a tubular cast on even a norwegian one would give you extra the old norwegian yes. old twist or old german twisted cast on or whatever and maybe 10 more stitches or mm. just go up one needle size from what i used okay that is literally the only modification i would do right so then instead of decreasing like the pattern says at the beginning at the end yeah. when you go so i increased and yeah. sometimes people are like well how do you know um how many stitches or how to evenly space mm -hmm. those stitches yeah there's an app there's an app for that okay so it's called knit evenly except all i did was i followed the instructions for right knit two together where there was a knit two together i made one sure you can do that absolutely right? yes so i basically exactly followed it in reverse jody Anyway, if you ever wanted to do a calculation where you have to either increase or decrease at, at somehow, like some well, some patterns just say increase 26 stitches yes. evenly yeah. for that round. Yeah. And you've got 312 stitches or whatever. Sure. So this app is called Knit Evenly and you can either increase or decrease flat or in the round and you do your starting number of stitches and how many stitches you want to add or subtract. And it gives you two versions the one that's the easiest to remember but may not always be the most evenly distributed okay and then there's one that's the most evenly I did distributed. Not know about let this. me tell you sorcery this app it's good to have it's i don't knit evenly knit evenly i don't use it very often i'm pretty sure it was free like it's it's pretty basic like there's mm -hmm. not a lot of that's all you can i think that's all you can do with it increase wow. or decrease but it's a super handy little thing right yeah. there's also knitting calculator like it is a knitting calculator that is yeah. what it is um and i love an app yeah i love a, an app that helps with knitting so so for the modifications that that i've seen people do it's like without the lace short sleeved right. mine is kind of like bracelet length yeah and i, I did that. that intentional um the length you can you can switch i did add about two inches did you did you um 
Well, yeah, why don't you tell us about yours, what you did, and I'll tell you what I did with mine, because I was working with a limited amount of yarn. Like, I knew I only had so much yarn. Right. So, but that was enough. It was enough. So instead of the lace, there was 20 rows of lace. Jody knit 20 rows of stockinette. Mm -hmm. That is it for the yeah. change in the pattern. Jody, this looks so good on you. Okay, let me just tell you guys, I did not end up getting gauge. I didn't do a swatch ahead. I did do a swatch ahead of time and thought, oh, I can just do it in between the large. What size needle did you use? Six. Okay. And I was, I didn't get quite enough stitches. So I thought I would go in between the large and the large, extra, extra large, large, double extra large. This is blocked within an inch of its life. Did you now measure your gauge? No. Because maybe you're not that far off, Joe. Like, I did get gauge. I don't know that we're all that different. We're not so maybe, all that different. Maybe you did get gauge. So, but here there's a little stitch where I got the mohair, but not the yarn. I, know, I actually noticed that. You might want to do a duplicate stitch there duplicate if you want. But and right there too. It's going to be fine. Or right. you could just do one more strand of mohair. So the drape that a, a fingering weight with mohair gives you <gasps> is beautiful. Jody, it looks so good. It is here. so beautiful. So you did two extra inches in the body. I did two extra and inches. And then if you turn a little bit, people can see it's a high-low hem. You do short rows at the at the near, just before you start your ribbing, you do short rows all the way across the back and it gives you a curved high-low hem. It's so I nice. I love the high-low hem. I love that detail. And you know what? You know how we love the extra stitches at the back that give you that higher mm. thing at the back? I'm not totally missing I didn't get it in this that. one. Me either. Yeah. I didn't do it this time. I actually think I did do it if I remember correctly with my other one. I did I too. I just forgot. I just thought I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> like I'm just... Three weeks. Listen, Let's go. Listen, Tin Cabinet's patterns don't need modifying. No. I don't know what I'm doing modifying anything. I would love to ask Alexa why it's the provisional cat. Like, it, I wonder why. Yes. Right? Because it's so... You're not doing anything different here. Uh, there has... I mean, I know everything they tell you, do what they tell you in the pattern. Yes. Um, but it's interesting. I like understanding those sorts of things too, right? Yes. Like the... Why? So how much yarn did you use? No idea. Um, did I you used... finish two skeins and then a little? I finished two skeins and then I broke into... A I, little bit. A little bit. I only used two skeins. I didn't even finish two skeins of mohair. No, two skeins of mohair. Why does that go so far? It goes so far. Yeah. yeah. So you had given me two beautiful skeins of weekend getaway. Yes. And I, for sure, I, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it, right? This is what I have left. Maybe five grams, part of a mini skein. So what I did was I, when I finished, I did add accidentally, I took my sweater to a movie and when I came out home and measured it, I had been an inch longer than I had oh. planned on being. So when I finished the body, I weighed my sock yarn to see what I had left and I divided it in two. Yeah. And that's how long my sleeves were going to be. So I didn't really... Okay. Right? So I yes. wanted to use... So it's a good length. It's. I love it. It turned okay. out perfectly, So Jody. having said that... If you had another skein, what changes would you have made for this one? So I would love to let a love note um, a little bit longer so that it's not a little bit, like just a little bit longer. And I would like one with long sleeves. Yeah. I actually love the length of the body, if I'm being honest. Like it it works out I fine. Actually, yeah. I actually oh God, really like so it. Good. It's so cute, right? Uh, I don't even know if I need the body longer, but I would like one with yeah. long sleeves. Yeah. And I can't get long sleeves. I knit the size large. I'm pretty sure it's on gauge. Like I didn't swatch for this one. I did swatch for my first one and I just yeah used that same needle and yeah. basically same yarn, right? But this is how much mohair I have left out of two. Um, I would say it's like half a skein almost. 30, no, how much is a skein? 50. 50 grams? Yeah. So maybe a little more than that. I should weigh it, but it's quite a lot, quite like a lot. quite a lot. Um, but just a little bit of the sock yarn. Wow. And I didn't do ribbing on my sleeve. I chose to do... Okay, that's a really cute detail. An I-cord bind up. Yeah. Which that's is really cute. super easy. It's way faster than ribbing. Yes, it is. Um, I like your ribbing at the bottom. You did longer. I did twisted rib. Like twice as long as I did. It's nice. 
Well, I think the pattern tells you like half an oh. inch or something, like, or an inch. Like, there's not much ribbing. No. Yeah. Not much ribbing. I was really trying to use every little bit of yarn. Yeah. So, I love it. I mean, I love this version, and it's not that I don't, that I'm dissatisfied in any way. If I had more yarn, I would make one with, I would like one with long sleeves. I have two that are kind of like this. Yes. Right? I find like this is that sweatshirty kind of easy shape. And Tracy and I both had the question this morning. I thought of it when I was blocking it. Why? And I'm sure it's just because there's less stitches so it's stretched more like Maybe around. Maybe this is why you do the provisional cast on. Why? I don't know. Like, because I said to Joanne. Why can I see through these stitches here but not here? I actually thought I chose the wrong size, like a 6.5 millimeter for this part. And then you came over and yours was the same. And I was like, my other one's like that too. So I don't know. But maybe there's something. I don't know why it's like that. I think logically there's less stitches. So it stretches more. Here, there's not as many stitches. That's just. I have no idea why it's like that. It kind of gives... It doesn't bother me at all. Yeah. I love it. It's I garbage. love it. Throw it in the garbage. Yeah. Jody, this color's so I beautiful. Can't tell you. Come so, on. I did. I stocked um lots of this. This is weekend getaway. And then this is okay, so for my you guys, I had such a hard time deciding. Lately I've been so indecisive. Usually I don't know what it is. Yeah, you're normally like you know exactly what you want. So I had dyed up this. It's not a colorway that's in the shop, but I thought, ooh, that's going to be really fun. So I dyed this up, and then I thought, I love that, Jody. Like, no, so much love it. I don't want that. And then I did this. This is over dramatic, but then once I was done, I dipped it again. It's so pretty. A little bit oh, darker. Oh, did you? I did. I over dyed it a little bit. Um, well, it's beautiful. And I think sometimes, too, like the time of year that you're casting on, like how you're feeling. Like yeah. maybe in the winter you knit darker colors. It's literally yeah. the beginning of spring. Yeah, I'm, I'm so happy color. to be knitting um, a lighter color, but I also love the speckles in this. My other knit, my other love note is more of a, kind of like tonally variegate, like it was a tonal yarn. It didn't have speckles. Yes, what color? It had lights and darts. It was by the Wool Baron and it's the color called Crush Rosette. I meant to bring it to show the difference today. Fail. It's amazing. Love it's it. amazing. And in my mind, I'm like, I'm knitting two pink love notes. No, they're totally different, mm -hmm. totally different colors. But I especially love the pop of the speckles. That's fun. Yes, it's fun. Right? But you're right. You have to be in the mood for it. Like, you have to, yeah. Love it. This was so much fun. So I ended up casting on Monday, and I was finished. So I did it in two weeks. Right. That's really, that's super fast. Yes. But that's not even, I was racing to finish the knitting. No. It's just, that's what the pattern, if you're monogamous, I find. That's all I did. All I used to, I used to be that knitter that cast on everything. Oh, I love it. Oh my God. I'm going to go to my you stash were. and cast that on. And then I ended up with five bags of projects that mm -hmm. are not finished forever. Yeah. So uh, there was a switch at some point where I became a monogamous knitter and that's how you get things done. That's how you get your garments. Newsflash. So if you like knitting sweaters, um, that's what I think. Did we tell mom we were podcasting today? Yes, I told her on Monday. Okay, got it. I hope we're not in trouble. Right. No, we did tell her Wednesday. That's right, we did tell her yeah, Wednesday. we did. Perfect. Uh, anyway, so love fun. it. And it was so fun. So thank you to everybody that knit along with us. Yeah. Because that was really, really, I feel like these flash knit alongs, we should maybe do more of them. Do you want to do Cozy Classic Raggle next? Maybe. Mm. Wait till you see what I cast on. Did you cast on? Yes. Oh my God. You can <laughs> enter. I can enter. I cut my hair off. Jody, let's talk about your hair because I, I didn't even tell you when you came downstairs that it's beautiful. I it's actually, such a good haircut. Oh my God. I was totally bashing my hairdresser. Just because I thought it was shorter than I asked on for. On Monday, you're like, oh, I don't even know if I like it. So... I love it. It looks really cute. <laughs> it got cute. so long to the point where, and I talked about this before, I didn't feel myself. Because it was so much hair. So much hair. Yeah. I didn't know what to do with it. Yeah. So do I put it down? Do I put a clip? Do right. I put it up? Right. Am I growing my hair or what? Right. Um, okay, somebody wanted to know. I don't think I even told the colors of my love Pinch note. Pinch me. Weekend Getaway and Pinch Me, which is the perfect blush. I don't I have almost did... 
my whole love note. Like I have pinch me sock too that you yeah. gave me. Maybe another day. I feel it's like that so would be too much similar to your other one. Maybe. Let me tell you, the speckles, I made the right decision. Like I did, this I is for so. sure. And hello, um, Dyer. I didn't even alternate skeins. And you can't tell. I didn't either. Hmm. Let me Those tell you. Those Frankie Gray Fibers are perfect. Frankie Gray Fibers. That's right. Frankie I've ordered Gray fibers. more mohair. I'm out of, I didn't realize I finished my, I'm out of mohair, but it's on order. That's an emergency. It is an emergency. That's like being out of Diet Coke in my house. There's lots of mohair, mohair dyed in the shop. Emergency. Just not this pinch me. Oh, well, there you go. So there's, yeah. there's lots to do. And pinch me will come. Pinch yes. me's on the way. Pinch me. Did you get a new phone case? Uh, I orange? ordered some, I ordered a couple of silicone ones. I have, I have a black tote bag that I've been carrying around yeah. and things disappear in the bottom yeah. of it. So I needed a bright color. So this looked, it's kind of corally. It looks a little more orangey in person than the picture on Amazon. I got yellow and orange. And look at you matching your, your home screen picture. Okay. How cute is that? That's an Orla Keeley wallpaper. My God, that's very cute. inspiring. I love yes. those colors. Yeah. I would love to knit with those colors. Yeah. So. Anyway. Um, yes, I did, Jody. I did. You know what I said to case. Jordan the other day? The Oscars with the dresses. Oh. Wouldn't it have been fun to then do, quickly do like a line of totally. Oscars based, like Jessica Chastain's dress that wow. melted from bronze to purple. It looked amazing. Oh. I didn't love the ruffle at the bottom, but I did love the colors and I, the sequins and stuff. Yeah. I thought, and there was lots of neon. There was lots of ladies in like neons. Yes. And Beyonce, I don't even know what to say. In about that Beyonce. tennis ball color. Was that not amazing? Like her performance. And all the instruments. Yes. And all those costumes and dancers. That was. Her daughter was in it. That was goosebump yes. inducing. Yes. Performance. Yeah. Yeah. It was amazing. Maybe this knit evenly is not in the US. I'm seeing lots of comments about it being not. Well, I mean, it's just the app store. I got it from just we, the app. Apple we're from Canadian app store. We're in the Canadian app store. There are things we that happen oh. that yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's it's. But you're right. There's like knitting calculators, yeah. and you can literally just divide in a regular calculator. I just love that it's knitting. Like it tells you in yeah. knitting terms, yeah. right? Um, um. Well, that's too bad. Sorry if someone couldn't. Huh. Here's something, but you can't have it. It's awesome. Too bad you can't get it. Totally. Okay, I wanted to share one thing before we continue on because I really don't want to forget. Okay. Um, we got an email this morning from Jen, who is one of the co-owners of Must Love Yarn Yarn Shop. Okay. And I've known about them for a long time. They do videos on YouTube and all that stuff. She just designed the Sunflower Rising mm. Cowl beautiful it's really pretty like i love it so of course the sunflower is the national flower of ukraine these are the ukraine um their flag colors their national colors and this is on ravelry and on their must love yarn website okay it is a hundred percent of the proceeds is going to humanitarian causes in ukraine there are many mm -hmm. many projects like this out there right now and if you want to add one in the comments below you know, knitting patterns or a design. There's lots of people doing this right now. Yeah. I can't this, tell you how many patterns I've bought supporting me too. the cause. Yeah. Me too. It. So, um, I'm definitely going to go purchase this. It's actually really pretty. So the color work is the sunflower at the top, but now I'm looking even closer. There's cables. Those cables are the leaves of the plant of the sunflower. Oh, that's really cute. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I love that. I feel like this is something that you would be able to knit up um, quickly and you know maybe it's a pattern you want to gift your knitting friends yeah. to raise some more money but thank you for um, sending that to us Jen and because I didn't want to forget yeah I, I, I forget every every episode I forget something yeah because um, I don't know if everyone knows you can actually gift patterns in Ravelry right like not only do you purchase it for yourself but there is another option in there gift this pattern yeah rather than buy it so then you would send it to the Ravelry user you want to Send it to you. And if somebody has sent you a pattern mm -hmm. and you would like to purchase it, it says buy again or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So there's, you can always do that. Uh, but absolutely, you can send this to mm -hmm. your knitting friends. I'm not sure how much this costs, but it is 
um, the money is going to such a good cause. So I'll I link that. that in our show notes for sure. Okay. Okay. So love note. Cha-ching. Done. Know. Right. You guys, that was like a minute long that from, from three, like it was like one we and done. We didn't know what yarn we were using. We didn't yeah. know what. Yeah. So yay, Frankie Gray Fibers. That was really fun. I really super, liked that. Super, super, super yeah. fun. And I felt like with um, three weeks, you I, you weren't rushed. Like, yes, it was a three-week win and then long, and not everyone has the time to sit and do Even it. Even if you're just knitting in the evenings, I think you'll get either done or pretty close to being done yeah. or just have fun knitting along. Yeah. It really wasn't about finishing. Like, the winner doesn't have to be finished. It's just some post in that hashtag. Yes. So we'll draw that today. Love that. And, Yeah. And then on Instagram, we're going to have a new giveaway this weekend, but we'll talk about that later. Show your cup that we got. So we went out to Leduc, which is just, just outside the city. It's about a 30-minute drive from our house to there. Right. Days with Grey, who we've talked about before. Yes. She's a really cheeky cup. She puts cheeky things on everything you can imagine. Yeah, it's a shop full of things with the F word on it. Oh. So if the F word is offensive to you, she may not be your jam. I think most people are really get a kick out of her. So this is a thermal coffee cup with a lid. And the one I chose was this one. She's very creative, very funny. Um, and she was an online store forever. You can get so many fun things in her shop. The shop is beautiful. So now she has a brick and mortar shop. If you're ever in Leduc, you can stop at this really cute little yarn shop and there is Days with Grey. Grey with an A-Y. Because uh, there is Days with Grey with an E-Y and it's a totally different Instagram. She's A-Y? She's A-Y. Oh, okay. That's interesting because can, can, in Canada we spell it the other way. Well, maybe because the other one Maybe was, the other one was taken. Like she has, and like she kind of makes it like like you'll see this really cute little floral one right. and it's gonna it's like you're a pentasaurus. <laughs> like if, do you know what I mean? Like if you Jody. get close and read the words. Jody, that's gotta be beeped. Um, oh yeah, whoops, sorry. <laughs> um, okay, but anyway, she's so funny. She's really funny. Yeah. I think her stuff is amazing. I've had lots of her cups, I've given gifts. She's got little framed um, pieces of art and just all kinds. She had way more than this stuff too. She had blankets and knitting bags and tote bags yeah. and things with um like housewares it was really great so uh, we went to the knitting store we went to days with gray and we went yeah. out for tacos it was so good at habaneros yeah so anyway anybody that likes a really sassy kind of like rude it's oh. not, i don't even find it rude it just reflects like my daily life right i say that stuff all the time so it's so funny it is funny um okay so what else do we got going? I have some a little bit of knitting. What about you? Do you have anything on the needles? I had so I cut, cast on a sweater or no um a hat to take to Montreal. Very little, so I didn't even bring it. Oh, you didn't? No, that was my thing too. Last week I was like, I don't even know what I'm gonna knit on the plane and sitting around knitting with knitters and stuff yeah. like that. I need to figure something out. So I did cast on a sweater. And then I'm knitting away, and then I was thinking, ooh, maybe I'll be able to separate for the sleeves before we go away. Um, I have a sock whip and a sweater whip. Are you bringing your sweater whip? Oh, totally. Okay. Yeah, for sure. It'll probably be the thing I knit most. So a couple of years ago, you knit the Cozy Classic Raglan by Jessie May, and gosh, gosh, gosh. Mm -hmm. So you can now get the Cozy Classic Light in fingering weight. This one's fingering and mohair for a, basically a DK gauge. Which I've knit a D, straight DK. Jody, I can't, yeah, so the gauge is 20, 18 stitches. Yeah. 18 stitches yeah. with nice. a DK, it's like a nice, mm -hmm. I like a looser gauge mm -hmm. like that. Um, my gauge, so what ended up happening is a new yarn came to us yes. and I swatched with it thinking I was gonna get a 20 stitch gauge mm. and I didn't. I got a 17 and a half stitch gauge. So I was like, what the heck am I going to love that knit? Right. But I went to Ravelry and on the very bottom of the filters of Ravelry, there's a little thing that says gauge. You can put in your gauge and sweater and only sweater patterns of that gauge will pop up. So I was really glad that the cozy classic Raglan popped up. It is amazing. Yeah. Pattern. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. It's yeah. In, I did. Um, so she's got all these 
tips for fading yarn if you yeah. want to use you know you're gonna single skeins and you're just gonna you don't want to you want to stash bust or whatever mm -hmm. um what else does she have in here jode a uh, different uh cast on so she gives you the basic you got your right basic cast on but she also goes step by step through the tubular cast mm -hmm. on so tubular cast on tubular bind off um she tells you how many yards you're gonna need it's a cropped sweater which kind of threw me. I didn't think to, I looked at the pattern and thought, oh, I have enough yarn to knit that. And then I looked at it and went, oh, it's cropped. I don't think I have enough yarn to knit that. I think she puts in there a longer version too. She says, if you want to lengthen your sweater, oh. you, you need X number of yards per inch. When you're on gauge, you need, okay, so it's so, yeah. so terrific. Yeah. So I can't talk about the yarn today. I can talk about the yarn next time okay it's brand new it's launching i believe this weekend can i say how obsessed i am with this color joey i don't even know what came over me i'm so wow. anyway i'm loving knitting with it i really can't say anything but this wow. is my cozy classic raglan um oh it's God. turning out awesome i did the tubular cast on and it was like <gasps> the angels started to sing you no know, i have never done that but when you guys, I'm telling you, when I see it, it's worth that extra 45 minutes to cast on. Right. It totally is. So for anybody that's never done a tubular cast on because you think, I can't do that. It's super complicated. Yeah. I'm going to tell you how you do it. The first instruction is to cast on X number of stitches, whatever way you like. It's right. not fancy. It doesn't have to be with a crochet hook like a provisional. It's just any cast on. So I just did my normal long tail cast on with a waist yarn and that was it. That's step one. And then you do a couple of rows of knitting where you're doing like a knit one and a slip one, knit one, that's it. Actually the first row, you're making your purl stitches. So you, mm. so if your number of stitches you need is a hundred, you cast on 50. And then the second step is to knit one, make a purl, knit one, make a purl, knit one, make a purl, make a purl. So you're doubling your stitches. So you're doubling your stitches. Then you've got a couple of rows where you go knit one, slip one, and then a slip one, knit one, and then you join it in the round and you're done. Mm. As you start your ribbing, then you can pick out your, your um, cast on yarn, oh, your I'm waist yarn. That next time. It's not complicated. It does take a little bit more time, but now when you purchase this pattern, you don't even have to remember it. It is step by step yeah, for you in this is. pattern. Yeah, it's not just do a tubular cast on. Yeah, so yeah. the thing with the tubular cast on or a tubular bind off, you need more yarn. Mm -hmm. So if you're really playing yarn chicken, you might not wanna go this route or yeah. add a contrast color. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you need more yarn. You need well, to someone do- someone like Tracy who's got eight extra skeins to I play don't, with. I don't, I don't. I don't know what I've got to be okay. quite, quite honest. This might be a boob tube. So. Oh no, I think I'm going to be okay now. And I got exactly the amount of yarn that I asked for. What was, weight is this? I was going to knit. This worsted? A short, yeah, it's worsted. Okay, someone was just asking. I was going to knit a short sleeve worsted weight sweater, but the gauge for that pattern was very different than what I got. And I just didn't want to fool around with it. I just Tracy, to I going. told you to reach back out and say you needed an extra skin. I, I had a better idea. I had stash. So I decided I was gonna add little stripes. I like this better. I like this, this is better adding too. so much character. I like this better too. So I, I added, I had some um, natural worsted weight yarn. I'll tell you all about it next time. And then this is actually a fingering weight held double. Look at you. I don't know who I am, <gasps> but every two oh. stripes is an extra inch of knitting just because of my gauge. So okay. I decided to do 12 rounds of, of the main color, three rounds of the contrast of whatever you want. And that's, I love the squareness you get of stripes with a raglan. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I love like, that. To me, I like this way better than a round yoke construction with stripes. Yes. I love that little sort of bit of um, extra interest. I love it so much. This has been like a choose your own oh, adventure. I love it. And I feel really bad for my husband because I'm like, do you, ask do you think I should have stripes? And he's like, sure. Like whatever you want to do. Oh my God, that's so it's funny. awful. What do you think about white? Um, and what I did was sort of that lazy swatching technique because here's the deal. I just want to get knitting as we all do. Um, 
So this is non-superwash. Mm. I you would never guess. Tracy. So we have this yarn to preview, and like she said, we'll talk about it all next time. It's amazing. I think it's launching at Bow Knitting Live in Seattle this weekend. I wish I could tell you more. Really? I, I do believe that's what okay, here's the picture I was looking for. So I did a lazy swatch. So you just take a little bit of cardboard and you wind like every every strand of yarn is not a row of knitting, but I knew I wanted maybe two inches of main color. So I wound two right. inches of main color and then I liked half an inch in the contrast color. So then I looked at my row gauge and that equaled about three rounds. Okay. For so it's it's you get a bit of a visual. But now you can see whoops. Now you can see like how those colors play together. It's really, it's really a handy thing. I saw Stephen West do it ages ago. It's, he calls it a lazy swatch. And you know, if you're picking colors for a five color yeah. shawl or something like that, yeah. you can. Cause believe me, I've gotten there when I'm just winging it. I've never done this, yeah. but it's I've gotten there handy. and I've wung it and I thought, Ooh, I wish I would have put this there. Well, I was also debating a pale gray. For the for the stripe i thought i was going to do the whole sweater with white stripes and then i did one and then i'm looking at it going is it going to be alternating gray and cream or just one gray well this is actually kind of a lavendery color it's reading are you going to alternate this them? color is is loft by uh, brooklyn tweet so it's their fingering weight oh it's beautiful it's the color postcard which is really this crazy color. It looks gray. It looks mauve. It's got little flecks of red tweed. Oh, I can't. And there's actually, this green yarn that I'm using is a heathered yarn, they call it. But there are little flecks in it, and one of them is the red. So I thought, oh, that might go well. I'm kicking myself for not asking for a sweater quantity. This is... It's beautiful. A choose your own adventure. I love it. Knitting this yarn, it is so soft. Nobody yeah. would ever believe that right. it's a non superwash. I think we need to get our heads around that. The non superwash does not have to mean crusty. This is as soft as a superwash, you guys. Wait, like, do you want to feel my swatch? Like, that sounds a little rude, but. Um, and Jody, it's like a sweatshirt. Where the heck is it? I don't know where it is. You know, sometimes there is that superwash, that non superwash, you think that's, that's way, it's not skin soft, next to skin soft. Right. This one, you guys, oh, it's nice, right? The feeling of it, you guys. Like, it is 100% wool, but it feels it's like... so good. Green is such a good color right now, you guys. Oh, yeah. I'm so seeing nice. green everywhere. I did a tiny swatch because I was worried about... And yeah. thought to myself, I might have to unravel it at I was going to say, you might be picking I that I don't out. think okay, good. I'm going to be at that point. So I don't know how long my sleeves are going to be. I feel like if I get them to be a three-quarter length, that's going to make me really happy. Note to self, wind more yarn. Because oh I've so only funny. got one ball in here. What right if now. you find a one ball um, in Montreal? Would you buy it? Green? I don't think I'm going to need it. I'm... I'm you keep telling me. hundred percent sure. I know. No, I know you do. I'm that person I know that you will. it's, I always panic, but, um, it's fine. Why it's you'll... fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. We're fine. We're good. <laughs> anyway, the yarn is amazing. If you happen to, <laughs> I wish I could tell you what it is. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what it is, it's but it's awesome. amazing. Keep your eye out for it, but I cannot tell you what it is. Yeah. We're doing the, the pre-work for you to let you know you need to find this Listen. yarn. Listen. Can we Listen. give him a hint? No. Are we not, really not allowed to say a thing? That's what I remember from the email. Yeah. Let me look really quickly while Can you I pretend I didn't remember? <laughs> okay. Which is <clears throat> typical. So, right. That's why uh, people probably don't reach out. Like, Jody's going to have to spoil it. Nah. Okay, I'll see. Okay. I think she said April 1st is when we can talk about it. Freckled Whimsy. I seem to talk about it every single podcast, but I'm obsessed with Carrie Stripes. Um, she had a pre-order for these colors that I'm going to show you. Um, but I think she had some left over because there are some still in her shop. So this color is called October is my favorite color. It originally was a yarn of the month and a year has gone by. This so, color is amazing. So this was 2020. Um, 
And so I bought Tracy this fingering <gasps> one. Jody! But I did the DK. Oh, wow. This is so 2022, the periwinkle. Yes. Right? The Pantone. But this was actually a 2020 color. Oh, she was way ahead of herself. Way October ahead. is my favorite color. And isn't that funny? You would think none of this looks October. Right. But obviously it is to carry. I Jody, love it. thank you. That's I didn't crazy. put a heel in yet just because I just finished these. This is a plum <laughs> yarn. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> really nice. So I love it. She does have some in her shop. Let me just show you what she else. She has this color. Hey? Yeah. I'm going to show. Oh, so I think... happenstance. Oh, that's the base. Okay. I didn't bring. You got have some under here. Stop. Oh, no, that was mustache. I guess that's the only one I did. This is the only one I did this time. A, a freckled whimsy. Okay. Isn't that awesome? Yes. And then the periwinkle. You got the mini, which I love. DK socks are the best. I'm sorry. I don't know that I'll ever knit a, a Jody, it's true. Again. Okay. They're amazing. Keep going. Kate Celine. Do you follow Kate yes. Celine? Yes. Her, she sent us yarn. Yes. She does beautiful, beautiful speckles. She does Minis. beautiful. Yes. This yarn I've had in my stash for years. And I pulled it the other day because I wanted to do a tube. That's so beautiful. This is not a self-striping yarn. It's It spirals up. So it's only portion of the skein was dyed. So it, it's actually a spiral. Sure, 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 up, sure. Right? And it turns out to look like self-striping. At this gauge. Yeah. This it is can, DK. Right. Jody, that's gorgeous. Isn't that oh fun God. that so it was just a portion of speckles on the loop of yarn. But like look at her colors. Yeah. Beautiful. Her aesthetic is so like it's so red fun. And polka dot. And she's she's such a beautiful dyer. Yes. But this literally years it's been in my um It's stash. treasure. I love it so Jody, much. Jody, it's gorgeous. I Those don't... are beautiful. I know. I didn't put the heels in it. But I don't think I can give it away. Well, I think that's great. I love it. Good. Keep okay. it. Show me your socks. Um, I really, you guys, other than those two sweaters, I do not have a lot of knit, knitting talk. But that's okay. We have lots of other stuff. I, show. again, I wanted to cast on something to take away. I should not have been, I mean, I have half knit socks all over the place, but I wanted to try the, um, the yarn from Small Bird Workshop that is her natural sock. So it's non superwash, 70% Canadian wool, 30% mohair. Okay. It's called Barn Swallow Sock. You can get that. It's still in her shop. This color is Tarn. It's a really pretty blue. That's amazing. And it feels woolly. Is it naturally it feels... dyed? No, I don't think so. Feels woolly, but not bad. No, I know what you mean. Not woolly. Like, I just feel like these are going to be warm and these are going to... I'm hoping <gasps> that they're Ooh. super durable. 30% 30, 30 mohair. That's more than nylon socks yeah. have. And it's mohair is supposed very, to be very strengthening. It's a beautiful bounce to this. It is, isn't it? So I just cast on my absolute favorite, um, a three by one rib. A <gasps> little yes. bit of one by one. You guys, the halo on this yarn is That's beautiful. the other thing that I love. Because of the mohair, it's got a halo. These are pretty darn cute socks, if I'm if I'm being honest. But I mean, this would be beautiful for, for anything. Sweaters, anything. So I cast on a pair, a shorty. That's so cute. Yeah. So you'll bring that with you. I will. That's more than enough knitting. I mean, I usually, I always overpack knitting. Do not bring anything other than your sock or your sweater. I'm not going to. Okay, good. What about you? I have two hats I'm bringing. And I mean, you brought a hat to Knit City and never, did you finish it? Like we, you no. just get busier than you think you're going to But it was be. vanilla and it's exactly what I needed. Yeah. Because I can just pick up and not worry about a conversations. Yeah. Um... Anyway, Hi. that's it for my knitting. And this little bag was, you can get these. Um, it's Rosa Pomar. This is her Mondeme mm -hmm. logo. But this bag, it's this beautiful. Like, it's like, it's like, actually, it's fabric for shirts and stuff. It's not. Beautiful. It's got Thick. a really nice weave on it. So you can get some that are like that. Um, and maybe your local yarn shop has them too. Yeah. But that's, I got it when I ordered from them. Love it. In Portugal. Did you go to a yarn store in Portugal? I was not a knitter in Portugal. I did not even knit on that trip. 
What but did you I were do? a knitter. You just weren't a knitter knitter. Was I I don't know if I was a knitter then. I have to look back and see what year that was. Really? Yeah. It was a long time ago. Georgia was in like grade three. I don't think okay. I think it was a few years before I was knitting. So what did I even do on a plane ride to Europe? Can you read? I, I guess movie. I Good probably movie. read. I know, right? Um these are for Jane. I didn't have them finished yet. They're so nice. Um, this is Rose Hill Yarns. I didn't have the band. I, I have that color. It is awesome. Monkey Business? No. Maybe that's what it's called. Something like that. Wow, um, that's beautiful. But I wanted some. They're, they're, um, she's got small feet. Those so I'm not gonna pull, I'm not going to pull these on. Yes. These, 48 stitches? Um, probably... Okay. Slouchy. Probably slouchy. Okay. I did the same socks for her for Christmas, and she loved them. And they're kind of a house slipper, probably, for right. her. If I was really but she doing loves it. Them. Yeah, because she's tiny. Yeah. Right? But, and I just did a little, um... The color's amazing. Contrast. And that's your contrast, Frankie Gray. Yeah. That's beautiful. <gasps> These turned out so nice. I don't want to give them away. Just kidding. They're, <laughs> they're not going to fit me. She just had, Jamie the and good, Jane the just good, yeah. had a birthday. Yeah. The good news is, you're the maker. You can make whatever you want. Yeah. Right? She will love those, Jody. That's a really nice I'll gift. I'll just give them to her when I see them. I never think until to knit for them until too late. I know. Right? Like, I, I don't, yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> um, March gets away. March is, gets busy. Well, that one week is everybody's birthday. Yeah. And that one day is three birthdays. Mm -hmm. So... Exactly. You know, but yeah. that's fine. Um, yeah. Okay. That's it, Jody. That's literally all my knitting. So keep bring, keep on. I have sock tubes. Okay. Just sock tubes. Show us sock, sock tubes and then we can do our little fashion show. Okay. I did wind this. Kirby Worby. That's awesome. Um, that's so beautiful. I have showed previously, she did an advent with amazing colors. It was the Schitt's Creek advent. She loved the colors so much. She reorganized this colors in, in a different order. Okay. And this came out as a remix. Oh. So it's the exact same colors. It's just, it's the Rose Apothecary remix. And it's 22 stripes. This fluorescent yellow is crazy. It's beautiful. Isn't it? Yes. Do you want that one? I did get it for you. Isn't it amazing? Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit a Parkview hat. Are you? Well, I'm away. Oh, I have a half finished one I should finish too. With um, a natural mohair. So you see That'll all awesome. the colors through. Yeah. Jody, that's That's beautiful. what I'm going to do. So that's that. Another one I, I also this. got. I should do mittens. Self-striping yarn makes super cute mittens too. Super cute. Yeah. Because you can hold it with the mohair. Yeah. <gasps> Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. And you would have enough for something else. Oh, that one's so good. This is called Cooler Than a Pack of Peppermint. Don't you love the minty with the red yes. and the black? Like that color combo is amazing. So that's Old Faithful. Oh, I see. That's a different base. 75, 25. Oh, they're both similar. They're both 75, 25. Isn't that Here, I got that one for you, too. No, you did not. I have one at home. I did. You I did got two. not. I promise I'll show liar. you. I'll send you a picture. Ask Cherie. Okay, Tracy. Jody, thank you. Sign I, up it's for beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, Her I love it. So amazing. Thank you. Um, oh, so Gage Dye Works, you guys. She does all those amazing colors lately where she has assigned a color to a letter of the alphabet and then she spells these amazing words. Here, I've got the picture right here, actually, because I was going to share the yarn. So... She always so she spells things out. Yes. She assigns a color to a letter, and she's done all kind. Like she, cat is so brilliant, right? Like she's just brilliant, and I feel like this is very different, right? So she's got all these fun things that are different sentiments, right? Love it. Right. This is um this one in particular is love is love. Mm -hmm. And she has spelt this out, but this came on worsted or DK. That's worsted. This is worsted. No trouble. I can't believe you did it for socks. That's awesome. Right? Yes. I love it so much, you guys. That is beautiful. They're going to be similar but mismatched for me. That's beautiful. Yeah, I love it so much. So it comes 
we got I got these for each of us. It comes I got the big skein. That's why you got so much yarn dough. Yeah. So this oh, is yeah. um 296 meters. 170 grams. Oh, that yeah, that is a biggie, huh? Yeah. So yeah. 323 yards. Uh, this is the big one though. So you could knit like a yeah. hat and mitts. Yeah. It's kind of like a skein and a half of worsted, right? You must sign up for Kat's emails. You must. That's where you get these. And you can also get it in traditional sock. <gasps> I'll crank us socks. And then the tube will be, I bet you the stripes are smaller, obviously. Yeah. So you can get it in fingering weight. You can get it in her worsted weight. It's, I think worse is worsted a new thing for her. I think so. I think so. Anyway, I, pound, I was like, yes, pounce on that because, and then with every order, you get these really cute little faux leather tags. So there's the gauge dye works and this says love is love, which you can attach to whatever you make. Is that not a, like to the top of your cuff of your sock? Or cuff of a hat Hats. or socks or whatever you yeah. happen to make. I think you could make a baby sweater. Yes. In, this right like you could do especially because or this there's yes. baby sweaters you could make like so because with the worsted the stripes are so they're so much they're so thick yeah that you're gonna get a really nice stripe once you knit the, the wider circumference yeah like you get skinnier stripes up here and then yeah. thicker stripes yeah, yeah. when you I so it would look cute. amazing and you would have to do nothing yeah so gauge dry works is incredible she's one of the most wonderful self-striping dyers um and she's out on the island right victoria yeah. yeah yeah okay you guys stacy of mustache yarn oh she's awesome who is another this oh. is like self-striping oh, central today she, she is came wonderful out with d k whoa she doesn't have she's any calling your name she doesn't have any in her shop right now Please sign up for Stacy at Mustache Yarns email because that's the only reason I was able to discover this. Oh, really? Yes. So, um, this that's is true of everybody. Yes. If you like any of this stuff, sign up for their emails. Yes. yes. Um, this is an OG of hers. This is the EVP. Yeah. Um, it is a Pink e Floyd reference. Um, it's the. Extended. This is an extended play version, but it's called. Oh shoot! It's like one of. I have socks that I knit in it. Yeah, it's, I had had the fingering ones too. So this is DK. I cranked this too. That's awesome. Um, but she's got a couple of different versions of that color exactly. too. Exactly. Yeah. Sorry, I'm getting fuzzy. Over. This is called Woodstock Fifty. That's so beautiful. Isn't that good? Yes. I think she has sport too, right? Yes, Sometimes. she does have yeah. sport. Yeah. Yeah. She's had sport for a while. And it comes in two perfectly matched skeins. It comes in, what looks like one, but it comes apart to two. She's the first one that, for me, that I ever knew that did that. Yeah, perfectly matched. So yeah. that's another one. And then this one is new. It's called Sedated. That's really pretty. And it is a gradiating stripe. That would be speckles. an amazing hat. Wouldn't that? Yes. Yes. Dark side. The dark side of the moon. There you that's go. what it is. So that's this one. This is dark side of the moon or whatever. Yeah. But all she has is extended play version on here. But, oh, okay. But you're right. It is dark side. Oh, okay. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Okay. Um, dark side, uh, Woodstock, oh, and yeah. then So sedated. maybe it's just called EPV, this one, because this one's called Wood. Yeah. You got it. I love it. That's this one. awesome. I love that one. So she doesn't have any right now. She has lots of fingering in her shop right now. So you guys can go crazy right now with the fingering weight. And I do. Did I hear that Dallas Fiber Festival is going this year? <gasps> it's like her one. Well, it ha in the DFW. past. DFW. DFW. Um, it has been her one place to vend in person in the past. You guys, her booth was giant. Huge. And she does worsted weight, like for sweater sleeves, like rainbow yes. sweater sleeves. Remember we bought some? I, have a, I yeah, still I have, have mine. Others. I haven't got rid of it. I just keep thinking, do I really want rainbow on my jacket? I don't know what I was thinking. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something fine with it. But hat and mitts. I lost something. my mind in her booth. Yeah. Oh, I know. Lost my mind. She's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite dyers. The amount of yarn prep she does for that show, you guys, Whoa. was unprecedented. It was huge. Yes. Huge. Dozens and dozens of colors. sets mm -hmm. and hundreds and minis and 
Um, she had like the, what are they called when they're not perfect skeins or whatever? Yes. She had a little section of there where you could get a really good deal on stuff. Yeah. Anyway, it was great. Um, you know what I tried? Joe, this is beautiful. I tried holding two fingering together with my machine. It didn't jam up your machine? Nope. That looks like a iron. <laughs> it makes a denser fabric. And I think if I was to do it again, I might, um, uh, but that's, it's a bigger tube for one thing, right? Like it's, it could be for people that have bigger feet. Yeah. Like I think I would, feet. uh, a couple of notches of a bigger stitch. So it wasn't so dense, but, um, this is over dramatic with, um, sourpuss held together. Jody, that's really pretty. I just tried it. Why I not? just tried it on the machine. And it, you know what? Zero trouble. Okay, how about this? If you were knitting like a kid's sweater. Sleeves. It could be the sleeve. God. Yeah. Like, like from a, bo a bottom up sweater yeah. where you attach the. Yeah. I mean, there's so many things you can do. There's actually a headband. Earl Bacher, Earl Bacher Gerhardt, which is the sock machine we have, is doing a crank in thing this weekend in really? Missouri are they in Missouri you know what if I would I would go to learn how to use my river yeah and to do heel to toes yeah. is that I what said the... to them one year one year we'll have to go how fun is that it's, yeah yeah so you have to bring your machine yeah that darn thing weighs a ton yeah yeah so no I'm just gonna borrow one of theirs <laughs> I'm not hauling it. I don't know. I I don't know. I should. I'm saying that like I know. I don't know. Um. But I would assume so, right? You could go to bring your machine. Should we do our little fashion show? We're so excited. Okay, I'm gonna take my sweater off. And then the first. Are off. you? Yeah. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna take mine off. You could you there's, pass me one, please? Yeah. I don't care which one it is. Two. These I just are want the to look same. Like, I just want to look really skinny. These are the same. Well, here, this, I don't know what, I didn't look at the size or anything. I feel like. This one's longer. Is that one cropped? That one's more cropped. It's fine. I think this is smaller. Okay. Because okay. it doesn't really. Fun. Close. Okay, I'm putting on this one. Oh my God. This Knit is collage. so cute. I feel like this probably wouldn't be my size, but it, I mean, it's not but terrible. But it fits you, but maybe you. Just it does fit you. Okay, I'm super Tracy. excited. Okay, that that um, butter yellow. This is feels very, very springy. <gasps> this is the Kareen Cardi by Vanessa. Um, it is so cute. Okay, so these are projects that you're able to per you're able to choose kits for. For the Knit Collage Spring Knit Along, which is coming up very soon. So yeah. you have to follow them for all the details. But there's so many patterns that are coming out. Um, they had a big survey. Which patterns do people want yes. to see in the Knit Along? And I'm assuming these are ones that you can get kits for. For sure, the Kareen Cardi. This one is pretty spectacular. Okay, I'm going to try the other color on. Yeah. What's this? A blood the blanket. Okay, here. The blanket's beautiful. So Jody was wearing the botanical cardi. Is that what this is too? Yeah. Okay, so this I feel like is of the next size, right? Like it's got I don't know. But it's longer. It looks longer for sure. Okay. So the botanical cardi <gasps> is knit with the spun cloud yarn and Look at the, the back. The um the wildflower yarn, which is the cotton strips, basically, like cotton ribbon. This one is crocheted in the body you crochet granny squares and then a, the cotton wildflower yarn is the centers and then you pick up here and you knit the sleeves that is so fun and like we bound off in it that. is like for people that love a process knit like the fun making these granny squares and then knitting sleeves and oh my gosh you've got a cardigan i can't even i think can i try that that's one? beautiful this is beautiful. You guys, this is they like do modular. There's some modular knitting happening in the cow. There's a brioche cardi. This is light as a feather. Okay, this this is the yarn that we knit our. Oh, it's so cute on you. This is the Serenity yarn, which is lighter than the Spun Cloud. Oh my gosh, maybe I should make this. Oh, it's I so love the Serenity yarn because I overheat really easy you, and I love it. Do you know how fast this would be? And, but. I don't even know how to crochet really, so I, I want to knit this one. Yeah. Should I tell them I want to knit it? 
Yeah. So we can decide on our, what we want to make, Ooh. but you are... I might put a button. The cart opens soon, but I don't actually have the date yet. So you need to follow Nick Collage um, on Instagram. They've got a YouTube channel and closer to the date, you'll end up seeing a big long video explaining the knit along and sharing all the patterns. Yeah. So they're fantastic. They do a lot of great community things. Oh, you can. She gives, she's like the definition of giving back. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, the all the yarns that you see, this spun cloud, this is hand spun in India. There's a, an amazing group of women that are um, sort of. I it's a collective that she's supporting, it is a collective. right? I was going to say the heart and soul, but you know, they're, they're, they're spinning these yarns yeah. by hand. This is the botanical blanket. I love a good homeware. <gasps> this is beautiful. This is stunning. So this is going to be um, available, I believe, in the knit along. There's also a botanical. It's this. Yeah. And it's a floor pillow. Like a poop. So not quite as big as this, but it's a flat, big floor pillow. So you're nice. doing the same thing. You're, you're combining spun cloud and the wildflower yarns, which is cotton. Oh. You know, this, I actually didn't, I thought it was super cute. Again, you guys, I didn't think I would wear it. I'm obsessed. It's, I'm just over I'm the sorry, moon. Amy, I have to keep it. These are, yeah, I know, right? That's the risk every time they send us right. something. We always joke, we're never sending it back. See, this is cute. You could just tack this a little bit yeah. too, like if it's too square. You know what? These have natural holes in it. So yeah. you put a chunky toggle. And, and Knit Collage has these giant yes. flexi buttons, the acrylic I buttons. I actually like it if you tacked it even just so like this. I'm so, this is the one I was super tempted by because I don't know how to crochet. And the great thing about the Knit Collage Knit Along is they, when you purchase one kit, you get all of the patterns yeah. and all of the videos that go with how to teach you how to do the patterns. So I don't have to worry about not crocheting because there's going to be a class that I have access to and they're going to show me how to do it. You guys, it could, I, I mean, I, I say this again and again, it couldn't be easier. A granny square could not be easier. And think about that maybe black. Something that would go so well with my, you know, maybe gray, maybe a denim blue, like whatever your because color they is. all those neon colors. I think I might do a crazy color. Just like you did last time. And then you said, <laughs> I'll never do it again. Don't let me do that again. I'm going to do it again. Anyway, we love, so we are, we join Knit Collage as affiliates for these knit alongs. We love, um, we love what they do. So we'll leave an affiliate link below and you guys can we you benefit. Want. We benefit. So thank you if, you, if you're thinking of it to, for using our code. Um, we would do it for nothing. We would. Yeah. Because we love Nick We Collage. love what Nick Collage does. We absolutely adore Amy. And I'm sorry. I Sorry. I don't know, Tiffany, what the sizing is on this card. Oh, all that information will be. You might even be able to go to Ravelry. I saw some Nick Collage patterns on Ravelry right now. You can't buy the patterns, but it tells you the info. So let me quickly look at that. Actually, I was really bummed because I was doing some homework last night. There was a couple of... See, here's the botanical pillow, you guys. Here's the botanical floor. It's a floor pillow. You can sit. See this lady sitting. Look how big it is. Oh, that what is a fun, fun, fun project. And I mean, you can use stash. There is an option where if you don't want to order the yarn, you can pay a certain amount and then use from stash, but you're in the knit along. You get all the classes, you get all the fun things. So yes, you can go on Ravelry and find these patterns now. Um, you can't purchase them, right. but you can see what the yarn requirements and sizes and things like that are. Yeah. See? There's, they all, they do the, they do the best photo shoots. Yeah. They use, they're super size inclusive. Yeah. Which is really, really important. And uh, yeah, see this lady, Jode, she was wearing the exact one that you just had on. Right. So it looks stunning. It's super fun. I feel like these patterns this time are very like, first of all, they're all a great um, knitting level. Like I think they're adventurous beginner. Yeah. Um, but Anyone they're very creative. Yeah. Like there's modular knitting and all of these fun, almost 
not applique, but they're really combining these yarns in an interesting way. Kind of like that retro vibe I'm getting for yeah, right now. Yeah, super like boho, yeah. springy. Yeah. Look at this color. Is this the other one you had? Yes. That's the same color? Yes. Wow. That's gorgeous. That color's amazing. I feel like I'm going to choose a bright color. Maybe yes. The pink. Yeah, choose a color that you love. That pink love. was amazing. Yes, it was. You can't go wrong. Oh, my God. Um... When I was doing my homework last night and looking up patterns, okay, this one of Kate Davy, she's got two brand new patterns that has just come out. I love that. But look at these mittens. They're uh, stop. They're um, a kind of a basic shape mitten, but embroidered. Are they felted? No, they're just knitted. Just knitted. Just knitted. That's really beautiful. Um, but I never think that I have the skills to do that. Yes, you do. I don't know, Johnny. Okay, but it's, I would love to make something like that and try it. Tracy, I, this was the other one. Look at this card again. Oh, that's stunning. Yeah. It's part Look of, at her yellow dress. Yeah. I love it. I This stopped me in my tracks. This, But it's it's currently exclusive to the Secret Coast Club and will be available for individual purchase later in the spring. Oh, okay. This pattern, you guys, was spectacular. Yeah, all over color work. Like I said, I want to do one of those so badly. I feel like when this comes out, I might do that. Jody. Because we've been talking about that for ages. And Kate, you might have just, I'm going to save it in my favorites. Um, this just might be it. Good morning, Michelle, Woolens and Nosh. Hi. And I think I saw our friend Vincent out there too. Hello. Mm -hmm. um, okay, you want to see some things that I printed off because I was like obsessed. I didn't no, but these are just tw these two pattern collections just launched in March from Brooklyn Tweed. Oh. Brooklyn Tweed. So they have a pattern collection that just came out called Homeware, and it's not blankets and pillows. It's like slouchy, um, cozy, not slouchy, cozy things. Look at this at home. This is available now. It's called the Brownstone, and it's a shawl collar pullover. I should look at that for my husband. He would, he would Tracy, probably love This, that. for me, was a 10 out of 10. See? Well, in the collar. You can knit it for yourself. Oh, I'm so loving beautiful. this one. It's called Bresson, and it's this very simple construction, but you've got stock in it, and then panels, this panel of garter stitch. It's so oh, that's really beautiful. nice. Is this and the that's kids in one? shelter. No, we can't show that one yet. Oh, it's coming out soon. We'll be able to show it soon. But look at this one. This little shrug with long, long, long sleeves with the ribbing. Look that's how gonna cute be... that looks. And that's kind of like a blanket kind of style, like cozy, makes you want to just sit. And, and they then... call it a cocoon cardigan, oh, and that's that. the name of it. These patterns that we're showing you are out. Okay. And you know what I love about these Brooklyn Tweed patterns? They tell you, this one's a three out of five, and they tell you exactly what's going on in this pattern. You don't have to That's read so the pattern to know it's bottom up, it's got a tubular cast on, it's got cables. Like, they're telling you right away, these are the skills you're going to, you know, get into in this pattern. And I, I love that. Um, and their patterns, they've been, they, these patterns were for their tones color. Yeah. That tones we've talked about so before. Pretty. Yes. You guys, I'm going to need some of this tones yarn. Um, our local yarn shop, The Fiber Nook, just got it in. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay, this one's a four out of five, they say. Wow. I can't do that. Oh, that that yoke is beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. A color work yoke puller. What do you mean you can't do that? I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can do that. I'm just kidding. And I think, you know, when their patterns are so good, you can just step by step. I think a lot of people can do that. And I think when they see... This one's super interesting and unique. Oh, and they the say that's color. a three out of five. This one is this a four is this out of five. Icord, is that I cord? Those big white knitted I cords are worked separately and then threaded into eyelets. So you make a big long I cord and you thread it through a bunch of yarn overs to make this design at some point. That's interesting. Isn't that different? Yeah. This is also another one. Hosser. What's the date today? This came out March 17th. Like, well, available. These are out March 16th. This whole so this was, collection came out first. The homeware collection just came out last week or two weeks ago. This is ago. really beautiful. 
just highlighting the beautiful yarn and just adding That's these really gorgeous pretty. cables down the front. Here's another amazing cable one. And they say three out of five, so intermediate. But honestly, cables aren't tricky. It's just a matter, this would be lots of chart reading. And you right. just take it one row at a time. Exactly. And yeah. it just appears. Like it just happens taking it one step at a time. And these are one all row. worsted patterns using Brooklyn Tweed Shelter or Brooklyn Tweed Tones. Yeah. So... And there's a beautiful scarf in the, so this is all that I've been showing is the homeware collection. Jody is showing the revivals. Yes. This shawl is awesome. Worsted weight shawl, super squishy. And it's That's called, really beautiful. And it's in that hayloft color. Oh my you God. guys, I love the hayloft this color. The shelter yarn as well as the tones, cause I felt the tones. It is that light, lofty, woolen spun yarn. Yeah. It is incredible. Yeah. Like, giant fans of Brooklyn Tweed So, yarn. I'm just looking at this little info sheet on the Brooklyn Tweed yarn, and they say, so Shelter and Tones are both worsted weight, woolen spun, but Shelter is a two-ply, and Tones is a three-ply. Mm -hmm. okay. So, slightly different um, wool, but they're exactly the same weight per skein and yardage per skein. Okay. So, just a little bit different construction. Yeah. And the Tones is really cool because they've got a light base and a dark base. So the same color gets dyed, but looks different. Because it's the amount that they've put in Just there. Just because the, the base starts out yes. darker on its own, right? The light and the dark. So I think they're called undertone and overtone. They're, go to the Brooklyn Tweed website, because on their website, they have a video showing the process in which they did these tones. And it's like behind the scenes, and you see it at the factory. It was very cool. Yeah. It's very cool to see. Okay, this is the sweater that I, um, I want to knit this sweater. So all these other ones, if you're thinking, I, I don't want to knit that. That's too hard or it's too yeah. above my level at this moment. They've also come out at Brooklyn Tweed with these first patterns. Okay. So this is first raglan sweater. You sh This pattern, I purchased this pattern. It is another huge so much amount of information telling you everything you need to know. Like it's it's a very I very actually, good pattern. Um, knit a Brooklyn tweed garment. Yeah. Well, this looks amazing, and it's kind of a little. If you want, you can do these blouse. I was going to say I love the sleeve in this. Love it. So yeah. it's a raglan construction, obviously. Um, it's in their worsted weight shelter, or you could use whatever worsted weight you like. But it's also got options. You get another PDF when you buy the pattern that says this is how you can stripe it. This is how mm. you can do tapered sleeves. This Love is how that. you can do waist shaping. So it's another one of those patterns that are kind of like a sweater class. I feel like we need to buy stock in Brooklyn. Street. I really like this. I would knit this exactly as it is. The sleeve really gets me on this one. I really love that. I like a raglan, but it's nice to have something that looks a little bit different than right. everything in your closet. Yeah. So, yeah, there's so lots of, I was looking at, I printed out lots of patterns to share. I came across. Because I felt like I didn't have a lot of knitting. Well, and here's the thing. If you don't, I don't go into Ravelry all that often. No, but when either. I go in there and just kind of skim my highlights or yeah. then I, I, I narrow this, filter the search to what's new. And I just come across, and it's. You just go down a rabbit hole and all these new beautiful patterns. And this one I came across, it's also a raglan. Pretty. I just thought it was really fun because we all have either fingering and mohair scraps that we can knit to a DK or just DK scraps. And I thought this would be perfect. It's called the Jersey Onur, Onur sweater. I love that dark. But I love the... Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. I just thought this was really pretty. Mm -hmm. I agree. A basic, beautiful I haven't shape. Seen that. I haven't Georgia, seen we're podcasting. Did Jesus. you get a haircut? Yeah. Should I tell nice. you all about it? I oh. hacked her hair off with like kitchen scissors in Phoenix. <laughs> the dog oh, ate another page of your knitting pattern. Mom. What? The, the dog ate. My it. dog is. I don't even want to tell you what I. I. What? It's an ass. Yeah. Um. Why paper? I don't know, but he seems to go on my little table, and look for paper. Put a mouse trap up there. Be the last time. Who wants that. a dog? Anybody want a dog? Um, really I just love this. Dirty, that's really it caught pretty. my eye with the different striping. 
Okay, our our pal um, Amanda Kafka just came out with the Deb Cardi, which is she's so good at making versions like all kinds of versions of her stuff to show Speaking you. Speaking of using your favorite yarn totally. straps up, yeah, totally. So she it's a chunky weight Cardi, or you can use DK and mohair, or you can hold whatever you want together to get the gauge. Yeah. But she's shown you all kinds of versions. This one looks, I don't know. Doesn't that one look light? I mean, it must be chunky. It's absolutely it's gorgeous. She did a monochromatic one. Love that. Um, a sort of a like color blocked one. And I super love this really, really stripy one. I didn't one. see that caught my eye. So Deb Cardi is out. Love. Okay. This I will never knit, but thought it was amazing. Well, you get to see it in person at Knit City. This is Worsted Weight. This is from Espastrico. Yes, it is. But I just thought, wow. And Worsted Weight. That is knit in La Bienemise Cori Worsted. I feel like for this, you have to really be mindful of the yarn you're using. Like Cori Worsted is like a soft, light woolen sponge. Mm -hmm. If you knit this in like a superwash worsted, it would be way too heavy. I think I would not consider superwash. Don't you think? Yeah, it's serious color work. And you would never want it to stretch out and be weird looking. Like, this is so much work, this pattern. Something that I love so much about it is that these dividing lines run all mm -hmm. the way through. And it's basically like a stitch marker for your work. Love it. So you're doing your increases in between those to make your skirt bigger. But that's, I feel like that would be your stitch marker and you would know if you were off. Yeah. Off pattern. Yeah. It's stunningly beautiful. It's the Foley skirt. It's got a elastic waistband. Mm. Um, and it's just like I just an can epic. Yes. I just can appreciate the work Me and too. the beauty of this. Me too. It's stunning. And I mean, super scrappy project, right? Yeah. Like you, you don't have to match anything. It can all just be, you know, completely different. It's wow. stunning Wowzers. and beautiful. Um, our pal, Susan, Susan B. Anderson, she's been knitting these knit collage mittens for years as gifts. I was going to say, wow, I haven't seen these. Yeah. So she knits them for gifts all the time and mm -hmm. she put her little recipe on Instagram and all that stuff. But now you can officially, you can buy an official pattern and you get two patterns. You get a reverse stockinette mitten and you get a garter mitten and for lots of sizes, you can do them with one skein of yarn. And she tells you how to work with one skein of yarn. Can I see that up close, please? And the Those cuffs on the inside, like, are her home Barrett Wool Company <gasps> home worsted. Weight. They're the cutest mittens. And I know lots of people look at knit collage yarn and say, um, what do I do with it? Like, what do I, I don't want to knit a sweater, but I, what am I going to do with mm -hmm. this? So this is super cute so not a knit collage pattern a susan b anderson pattern susan b anderson pattern called done, knit done in yeah. their, she i mean loves her their knit collage yarn which is so beautiful and so she has used their really fun like this is the daisy chain yarn oh. and this is that one that's got the little balls God, in it it's so beautiful so you can do them scrappy too, which would be really great. But uh, oh, Susan writes amazing patterns, of course. Okay. Oh wow! I this is called sunshine on my shoulders. It caught my eye. How do you do that? It kind I don't know. It must be some sort of intarsia. I guess. Yeah. It's a DK sweater, and this was one of the test knitters because I, I don't know if you can see, but that's the original. Um, but I just thought so beautiful it's stunning this is kind of retro for me huh it is and i mean really until you finish that white part i don't know if it's bottom up or top down but yeah um there's a little bit of striping but yeah i think you're right i think it's intarsia i just thought I this guess. was so beautiful wow yeah i agree totally yeah what an amazing beautiful photo. Yes. yes by lissy jane um okay this one i is still calling my name i don't know if i showed it but i I want to. This is the Trumpet Pullover, which is a raglan, slouchy, DK weight sweater. It's beautiful. Sport weight, actually. Sport. Do you know what vibes it gives me? What? Zadie. 
Totally. Maybe that's why I love it. Right? With a little bit of... But it's sport weight, so it's yeah. quite, quite a bit lighter. This is by Jose Paquin, an amazing Canadian designer. And she's using Wolf Folk. It's actually part of the Wolf Folk um, Fleck collection. That's so beautiful. Wolf Folk came out with this tweed. It's this a is sport gorgeous. weight tweed. Isn't it pretty? The raglan increases are also a little bit of a cable. So when they say... Yeah. So that, that's where it is, right? So I, I would wear this snot out of this thing um and it's sport weight so i feel like dk would you could totally make that work somehow with sizing but um there seems to be more and more sport weight yarn out there i feel like that i it's that kind of that happy place if you're not quite as dk is a little much but the fingering is a little thin the gauge is 22 stitches which is what i just knit my um Sonder sweater at and I used that DK yarn on a four millimeter needle. So I don't wow. have to I don't have to swatch if I use that other yarn. <laughs> there you go. Um I tell you, as much as I don't mind swatching at all when I don't have to, it's like yes. Um I the neck the hat I'm gonna cast on and it'll be a my next pattern is Sunday morning. <gasps> Sunday morning hat? What's that? No, Sunday morning yarn. Oh, okay with mohair held triple for something for some of it so fingering with mohair no uh it's dk yeah but then the mohair held triple for some oh you're designing it yes jody yeah fun that's what i'm bringing to montreal that's exciting yeah um and this is my last pattern to share with you guys Me it too. is an amazing infinity cowl like the big double loop wow. and it's the called the minster Look at the color. I love this color. It's beautiful. And wow. I think it's sport weight too. Like I think she's done lots of versions of it. What's the motif? Is she that did chicken? Rauma Fino. But there's also, oh, La Bienemie Twist Nouveau. So it's like fingering, fingering weight. Are those and birds? you get, yeah, it looks like it. You get a huge, a bunch of charts. So do you, is it like choose your own adventure? Probably. I didn't That's read really, it all over, but really I looked at pretty. it and thought, now this is Linda's first pattern. Congratulations, yay, Linda. Yay, yay, yay. So I wanted to share that because, I mean, the color work looks, I mean, I love that kind of stuff. I love those kind of um, cowls. And you can see here, she's got it double wrapped and then single wrapped too. And you don't have to make it as long as that. You can make it as long oh. as you want, right? That's a pretty ambitious first but pattern. But there's lots of info it's beautiful. in the pattern. Yeah, I love the motif, and I'm crazy about the colors of that, like, slimy green with the pink. That's La Bienemie. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's I bet Floral, Floral Morganite yes. and Yellow Brick Road. Oh, it looks green. Yeah, just, just well, like... it's probably my, it's probably the printer. It's beautiful. But, yeah, so fingering to love sportish. It. Um, another one that caught my eye, it's, I believe I this is a new days. one. It's called Starry Night Mittens, uh, by Sagita Van Brookham. I know I'm butchering That's that. That's exactly what it is. It is worsted weight. Those are beautiful. Kind of like a Salbu inspired mitten. It's such pretty color work. The colors that she chose, those, that blue with the black and then the yellow pops around the wrist. I really love one. when black is incorporated. Yeah. I, it really catches my eye. That's really beautiful. Um, oh no, I have one more, but I thought that was so beautiful. Is I that saw another that. one? Yeah, I lied. I have one more, okay. one more. Okay, so Danny, Little Bobbins, Danny George. She just came out with a- I didn't know that was her last name. Pair of patterns. Oh. And she, it's called the Faded Quilt Mitts. And the faded quilt socks. And Those I just love adorable. I just love a good texture. The pattern that caught my eye first were the mitts, and I and I do think I'm gonna make these. I love the folded cuff. Because mm, um, then you can fold it up. I love them. Work. I love that kind of stuff. So these are uh sock yarn using both using sock yarn, fingering weight, I, I believe. I'm pretty sure the the mitts are also sock yarn. That's beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I love that. I love it. Um Sitting kitten socks. These, These are, are new. Cute. It's a new pattern. I just couldn't resist because cats, of course. Right. It's by Amanda Newlin of Bean Blossom Fibers. Sitting kitten socks. And I mean, everybody's always like, what do I do with my mini skeins? That's what that is. Yeah. 
You knit cats is what right. you do. You knit cats with mini skeins. That's what you do. I thought that was adorable. Oh my gosh. I love it. Um, I got a couple of fun things sent to us for prizes, really? which is amazing. Um, <gasps> they came. Jody. Okay. Our eyes just sort of popped out of her head. What is this? You might say, come on. Come Let on get now. The tag out. Come on now. Miss Black Pearl Magic herself. Um, I love she was her so logo. generous and sent some gorgeous bags she has totally got her own style hey with these beautiful yeah um i love the a vinyl or whatever that is handmade in baltimore since 2019 shayla jones owner you betcha my god she's rocking it i love her logo isn't she amazing yeah there's actually really cute um stitch markers and a super cute pin in there she was just amazingly mm -hmm. generous so Thank you so much, Miss Shayla. Uh, look at the green. The green and the pink and the zippers are like prismatic, iridescent. You guys, these are little poodles, uh, stitch markers, and a badass fiber artist. Yeah. Oh, Shayla. I know, right? Oh, how Shayla. about Shayla? How about this sticker that came in too? Alexa, make a gauge swatch. <laughs> Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> oh my god. Now we're having Alexis. Alexa, mm -hmm. what's the weather like? Um, okay, so I probably won't see these in her shop. You have to catch an update. So again, sign up for those emails. Yeah. I had these in my cart one day, months and months ago. Yeah. And didn't check out because you, the uh, credit card was the only payment method, and I was too lazy to get up. Well, then. I mean, that, aren't you sorry? Right. <laughs> but I kick myself every day until today. Right. So thank you so, so thank much. You, thank these you. are amazing. Amazing. And these are going to, um, for sure, <coughs> some of these are going to be um, prizes in our BIPOC make along, yes. which is ending technically Thursday. Okay. But we're going away. So we're not going to close that knit along until for sure after the weekend. So just make sure to get your entries in over the weekend, guys. Yeah. Get what you've got finished. And yeah. we hope that you guys have found some amazing makers. Yes. Yeah. These are beautiful. Um, yeah. All of our prizes are going to come from uh, amazing BIPOC crafters, too. Okay. So. The green with the hot pink Isn't zipper. Isn't that pretty? Look at this one's got like a rainbow. Oh, yeah. I mean, everything is just so such a amazing. Beautiful maker. They're, they're gorgeous. They're okay. I have one other thing. Um, we also popped into a yarn store in Leduc. Yeah. Oh and my gosh, it was so cute. I hadn't been before. It was adorable. Stephanie said her Alexa is freaking out. Thank you. Like, Alexa! Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, Alexa, her Alexa just said, I'm not sure how to knit a gauge swatch. <laughs> Alexa, play music. Um, so I got, okay, so Amanda Kafka, who is the Crafty Jackalope, yeah. does kits. Yeah. And she does all kinds of kits with this Kati Katia? Katia. 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 Yeah. Katia. Yeah. Um, and then um, this is also Katia yarn, but it's, um, what is the blend? This is silk and mohair. Oh, it's so Catching beautiful. yarn's beautiful. I think yeah. it's from Spain. So I company. thought I would knit some sort of uh, magpie darling hat with these held together. This is a cotton core. Right. This one is... It would make the cutest summer tank top. Wouldn't it? Yes. It would this be is 60% really, really cotton and 40% polyester. So, I mean, I just thought that was so beautiful. The kind color's of, amazing. Kind of like a tone-on-tone -tone colored speckle. The color um, sucked you in. Though. Yeah. It's beautiful. So, yes, Amanda has the Magpie Darling hat. You could yes. make that with that, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we didn't get out to a lot of yarn stores, so it was nice to see sparkles. Totally. And then the beautiful proprietor also does a ton of embroidery. And she's got... A, Apparently, yes. some fancy embroidery machine. Yeah, she said she machine embroiders. Yeah. So, has do uh, donated a beautiful tote bag for Blackbird a giveaway. knitting. Yeah, yeah, that's exciting. 
So that was very That's kind. actually a beautiful tote Thank bag. You. I really love the, yeah. the fabric on that. Yeah. So Perfect. nice of her. Um, okay. So it's kind of exciting. This modern daily knitting has us on their like preview list or whatever that would be. <gasps> which it was, was a press it was like It's like a little bit of a surprise in the mail, okay. right? So they just re recently released their latest feel guide. This is feel guide number 10 and it's all designs by Erica Knight. And it's called Atlas, and it's using their new yarn, which is Atlas. Feel that. It's beautiful. She said her Alexa started playing American Pie. <laughs> Alexa, play the Beatles. Um, oh, this is so. It's 100% Ramboulet. Which, really? you know, they send you this little card, and it's very educational for me. So it says Ramboulet is a cousin, cousin to Merino, but bouncier. I could totally so see this. So it, it's really next to skin soft. Is this, super, this is not super wash, no. but it feels And that's extreme. a 50 gram skein, so you could make, you know, fingerless mitts or add oh, it into very, color work. it's very lofty, huh? Yeah, it's beautiful. The patterns in this book are fantastic. Oh my God, I don't hate that. I don't hate that either. I actually love it. Erica Knight is a beautiful designer. Um, there's a big scarf, a cabled scarf, but there's... Um, oh, I love this. Look at this sweater. Because yeah. you know These that... These books are really, really nice The Moon books. and Turtle gals yeah. had that hood. Yes. Which, similar to that, one of those. I was very tempted for the hood. There's a couple of scrappy projects in here. There's a beautiful blanket. And this cute little bag. So this this book, I mean, you, I've seen them at our LYS, at the Fiber Nook. Um, but you get all these patterns and they're all designed with Atlas. So thank you, Modern That's Daily Knitting. Um, I is, will pop this, this into for sure, for sure, one of our prizes. Amazing color work. Shayla. I see Shayla. Oh, Shayla. Shayla. Did you just get here? Shayla, we were just gushing about your bags. Right. We think your aesthetic and your making is absolutely second to none. Totally. And Jody got cart jacked. Because she was I lazy. Did. I was lazy because before you sold out when Adela, like months and months and months ago, I put two in my cart, but I usually check out with PayPal because I don't know my visa number off by heart and was too lazy to get off the couch. It's dangerous. And then you've been sold out since. Um, but here's the thing. I know some people get rude about that, that these updates go so fast. And these people need to realize, you know, you think these companies are big companies and they can crank out tons and tons of stuff. These are usually single, ma you know, single makers yes. at home sewing their stuff. They make what they can make. They will make more later. It's a one it's, person. It's thrilling that yeah. they're so well received and that people love their work and they will continue to do their amazing work. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we just need to be patient, but these bags are amazing. They actually, these bags have gone on like the amazing race. For some reason, Shayla sent the package and it got returned to her. Did it ever make it to your house? Obviously not. So then she told me this when I was down in Arizona for holiday. And I said, do you want to just send it to Arizona? And she, it missed me by two days. So then it comes to mom and dad's place. And then mom and dad just shipped it to us. So it's been all over the place. But get Shayla's, you know, follow Shayla on Instagram. and Shayla um, just said she's adding PayPal. Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Awesome. And yes, these bags totally need a passport. They yes, have been they all do. over the place. It was hilarious when they finally got here. So. She was doing sneak peeks of an orange one she was doing. I did see that. I don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be exciting to see what they are or where they go or, yeah. or when they're available. But the orange was beautiful. Totally. And I feel, oh yeah, these bags are amazing. Yeah. So thank you, thank you again. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Um, lovely. Isn't that great? Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, so do you want to go to the Perth Festival of Yarn? Perth? It's in Scotland. Yes. <laughs> I know. So yeah, of did course. We get bucket list, right? No, uh, no. Oh. But we did get that um, color. She, um, Eva, emailed and said, "Would you be? Is it possible? Can I send you a couple no. skeins of our our festival colors? Like these were dyed just for the Perth Festival of Yarn." Um, and Tracy. and I was like, "Wow, for sure! Like, yeah. thank you. That's so wonderful." So. These are dyers that I do not know about. Oh. This is dye candy. I've heard I follow them. Okay, so I don't think I knew them. Sputnik Sweetheart. 
You it, guys. Such a fun speckle. I'm crazy about an orange and a pink together. Uh, it's really energetic and yeah. fun and beautiful. This is beautiful. So that's um like a, is it like an 80, 75, 20, 20, 75, 25 sock yarn. Yeah. So how beautiful is that? This is Dye Ninja. I must follow that. Dye Ninja. And this is the Ninja Toes Fingering Base, which is 50% Corydale, 50% Mohair, non-superwash, I'm assuming. Mm. And it's called Eva's Lippy. So if you're meet Eva, oh maybe God, she's got beautiful. Color. This color knocked my socks off. I opened the package and I was like, <gasps> OMG, Eva's Lippy is so beautiful. And it's, of course, got this halo because of the mohair. And it's very soft. Like, some some are not as soft, yeah. quite right? But this is super soft. Oh, my God. Okay, remind me. Dye Ninja. Dye I, Ninja. I did follow Dye Candy. Uh, so, thank you, thank you. And it even has on the label here that this was the Perth Festival of, our, of Yarn Color. Sheila. Oh, you guys. Dye Ninja. Yay. And in <gasps> Scotland. Look. Her yeah, her, Sheila at DyeNinja.com. Her feet is beautiful. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wow. Sheila, you dye beautiful yarn. Yeah. So dye candy as well. Beautiful. Yeah. And it's fun. It's very, very different. So if we go to Scotland. Um, yes. And I was, I was actually looking on their website. Like if you're in Edinburgh or Glasgow area, like those are places you can fly into. Yeah. It's really only like an hour train ride. So you don't... Oh, okay. And then a train in Scotland? Right. Come on. Right. <gasps> so how exciting. So thank you. Thank you for thinking about us. And we'll make sure these find excellent homes. Even though I want to keep them both. When is the festival? Did it um, happen? I think it's in the fall. Oh. You're asking me all these questions that I just don't that know. Would I, be was, I was on their site just before... Okay, who's playing Wordle? Every day. Stupid Wordle. I um, love it. I play it every day. I'm trying to keep my streak going. I don't even care how many guesses it takes, but I just want to be able to do it like every day. Right. As long as I guess. I fluked out with found the other Jody, day. All so the good. words. Do you have a certain word you start with? I start with a few. And some of them, sometimes it, yeah, Wordle Addict, Michelle said. Or I sometimes crane... Ocean. Oh, I've never wood. used ocean. Ocean, I thought, because it has the vowels. I like, I like to use, okay, so when I was thinking of what would be a good starting word, I did not know you could Google Wordle starting words, but you can. Oh, okay. Um, You know when there's, what's that show? Wheel of Fortune. Oh, Wordle is hurdle, but name that too. Yes, Wheel of Fortune. Big fan. Uh, and they give you letters at the end. They give you R-S-T-L-N-E yes. or whatever. So I kind of thought, oh, I'm going to get it. I'm going to try a word that's like got a few of those. So sometimes I just pick those, but like I do stare, like S T A I R. I do. Yeah, um, someone, that's one. So when you just Google said it, heart radio. Yeah. Radio would be a good one. Yeah. So I love it. I do. I love it. Sometimes I, I sometimes I haven't gotten it. I'm like, I oh, wish, I wish it was more than once a day, but they get you. That's how they get you. Mm -hmm. It's once a day. Um, I, I do canuckle sometimes. I don't like canuckle as much. Um, I have something to... Because it has to be not only you find the word, but it's got to be, they choose Canadian ones. So then it's like, it's not just, does the word fit, but is it something... I know. It I don't love Canuckle as much, I'm sorry. Yeah. I love that. Um, yeah. Uh, I got some fun yarn that I ordered, and I... Did you? A little bit. I'm, um, I just have grocery, gr we have grocery girls and Frankie Gray, so you continue. Okay. I wanted to share our pal Nicole has been launching her backyard chickens and I think all the hens are already out. So okay. here is three of them oh that goodness. came out this month. Somebody's 10 minute timer just went off. <laughs> oh my God. That's so funny. Okay. Ooh, these are amazing. This is very, um, I want to know. God, am I doing it right? Yeah, March 18th. This was March 11th. This is out already. It's available. So this was... Waste. That's a good word, too. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Look at that. Who wants to see that chicken? Is the that just all one color? Bantam. Yeah, it's like a tonal, and then you've got 
speckled minis. Oh, that's really pretty. I think that's really, 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 really beautiful. This one's called a golden comet. That's gorgeous too. And you know what but, um, the, the Hue Loco ladies have done is they pair it with um, colors that they stock as a semi-solid in the shop. So right. for example, it says the minis are sage and pear. Right. Which you can get all the time. So you could get like, you could do a sweater. Sure. And use this for the color work. Sure. So these match so well yeah. if you really wanted to. Um, this one is the silver sea bright and the minis are mauve and juniper. Okay. That's and that's beautiful. really beautiful. Mom would love this one. It's beautiful. Yeah. Um, so our pal Nicole, she's amazing. She sends these and she knows we do our, you know, sock bash and they always find good homes to sock knitters. Yeah. Um, but you, there's lots of one skein shawls too. Yeah. I love it. So you can do lots with those. What, what one was that last one? When did it got, get released? Uh, tomorrow. Oh, last oh, week. I was going to say, yeah, last week. Yeah. So, so beautiful. And these things are like when they come out. If you like it, you better get it because the collection's going to change. They retire is yeah. basically what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So it says right on here that it's the 2022 collection. And Nicole's really good about making sure everybody that wants one gets one, right? So she gives you lots of notice, but... The 2021 was just retired before this launch. Right. So they're right. not forever. They're not forever. Yeah. And I don't mean like you have to get it this week. Yeah. But I do mean that it will not be here, you know, next year. Sure. Probably. Sure. Um, and our friend, I ordered this, I thought this was really nice idea. Our pal, Ooh, Heather, mm -hmm. over at um, Things Created Equal, she's got a club. It's a mystery club. This is the, this is the inspiration photo, so you Ooh, can see this. That's super beautiful. And it's her rooted yarn club. I do believe you can get DK or fingering. And for every club sold, she plants a tree. Like she, there's in her a backyard, right? She, her backyard is a forest. <laughs> um, no, but there's an organization and it's all on the website. I don't remember the name of it anymore, but you get, so you get the inspiration photo. That's really beautiful. You get a wow. coordinating stitch marker. She packages things beautifully. This is an actual photo that she's glued on here, you guys. And this is the yarn that came this time. This really beautiful tonal earthy it literally matches you the guys, picture exactly it is super beautiful yeah it's gorgeous so is this available no yeah, um get her newsletter go to her website she's one person so it's not like she can do a million of these but um you can order the recurring so once you get it you can get it where it just constantly renews can i just say i love that me too because I do that with freckled whimsy and plus oh do you carrie offers five percent off for every Every time when it's a recurring subscription. And, and Heather's sock base is this super soft, 85% superwash merino, 15% nylon. Like it just feels... Maybe it's that micron. Maybe, right? maybe. But this one's very tonal, very earthy. I think it's gorgeous. Um, I'm going to... I This is recurring and some of these are going to be... She can't do a million. I know, right? Um, underachiever right she what are been. you doing with your days um so i love this this was my first time getting it and are you recurring yes i'm recurring okay i'm doing it too <laughs> remind me I'm gonna set up and i actually thought too and it's i think it's like 30 dollars a month yeah and she ships this came shipped vacuum packed but then the package itself was wrapped with like a ribbon and then you ended up getting the ball band. So you just twist your yarn and put the ball band on it. But it was, oh shipping was very inexpensive. Yeah. Like it was really, I feel like that's very thoughtful. Wow. So the stitch marker is awesome. And I because love it. a lot of work has gone into this club for her. Oh yeah. It's beautiful. Like this photograph is completely separate. The printed material. Yeah. Separate. And then she puts it together. Yeah. Wow. It's actually amazing. And yeah. I, I just think her whole, people say aesthetic, her style, her whatever, is always something I always just think is really beautiful. Her color palette, like, yeah. it changes. It's it's interesting how she approaches yarn nine. I mean, she doesn't retire colors, but when we saw her at the Fiber Frolic this past year, yeah. her whole palette had changed for me. Like, it wasn't the speckles that I was used to seeing from her. Yeah. She had kind of picked 
like a palette yeah. and and dyed it on all these bases that yeah. kind of all went together. And I've and I've seen like Sweet Georgia will do a seasonal palette, and I yeah. just feel like that's very efficient for a dyer, especially yes. if you're one. Yeah, she's got young kids. One person mm -hmm. at home, you know, you chosen these eight colors or whatever, and you dye that for fall, and then you're gonna do something else when spring rolls around or whatever. It's yeah. awesome. I think that's also just really efficient. Um, this is beautiful. This is like a right. high, high gloss. I was very excited when I got this. Don't. I yes. kind of forgot I ordered it. And then it that's showed up and I was like, <gasps> and I just, the thoughtfulness of the, you know, vacuum packing and the shipping and yeah. making the stitch marker, everything was just beautiful. Um, it is. So I got my Breed of the Month Yarn Club. That's beautiful. Okay, this one, you guys, is amazing. So Long Way Homestead. You can get Breed of the Month yarn or Breed of the Month fiber for spinners, and it's 100 grams. Uh, you don't know what you're going to get. It's a mystery club, but when you do get it, um, you get a really great informational card on that breed. So it's, Have you learned so much? Yes. Do you read the card? I mean, it goes in and out. I read it when it comes, but I'm keeping these cards, actually. Yeah. I've got a little thing where I've just oh. been tucking these in. So this is the Redu Arcot breed and it was bred in um the government of canada developed three breeds of sheep in the 70s and 80s and this is one of them and it was developed specifically for our like harsher canadian climate um, and it tells you that they were bred mostly for meat but their wool is um also really great so in manitoba where Longway homestead is from there are lots of farms still raising this redu arcot sheep and this is very, like when I had it off, out, and open, it's soft. It's really nice. It's interesting looking at the picture and then looking at the yarn. It's very, I don't know. See, this sheep, it I mean, looks it so looks dark. almost like But maybe not. Hairy, Once you clean it. Almost, right? right? Like not that curly, fuzzy. It's so interesting to see different locks or whatever yeah. they're called. This is a uh, picture, and it tells you all the info about the breed here. So... I love it. And again, this is not an expensive way. It's a... <gasps> That's soft. It's really soft. So again, she um, vacuum packs this. Shipping is like $5. Yeah. Um, That's and beautiful. they are a mill. Like, they raise sheep, but they are also a mill. Home, long way homestead. Yeah. I think she... Are they going to be at Knit City? I think so. I was going to ask you one other person. Are they going to be at Knit City? It's really beautiful, though. This Who one came... And this is DK. So I've been getting quite a lot of DK. Okay, so you're going to be club. able to put together something and, and knit a really beautiful... I just keep thinking every time, like, oh, I'm going to cast on a hat. I'm going to make knits or whatever. And this is, of course, natural. This is the natural yeah. fiber. So Like Selbu mittens? Or whatever. Like yeah, cable. I, I think a cabled mittens or a, a hat with like a double fold brim where you can use lots of this skein of yarn. Um, it's funny... What was the club last time? It was it emu yarn? No, pack rat? No, <laughs> possum. Okay, but that wasn't a club. No, it wasn't a club. Was it possum yarn last time? Yes, time? my cat <laughs> likes that yarn. Loved possum okay. yarn. Obsessed. There was quite a conversation um, about that yarn. Now it's not opossum like in the U.S. What? It's a poss a possum, P O S S U M, and it's they're over in New Zealand. They are oh, pests. This is news to me. They yeah. are pests. Like they are a population that is being controlled, so they do kill these animals. But look at the nice. Which is what somebody said. Like, do you know how they get this yarn? And I do. I do know that. Um, but okay. Apparently, it's a big deal. These things are a well, giant. Possum or opossum? My cat loves it. It's not it. opossum. Yeah, I can imagine. Just the smell. Just didn't destroy it, but just sat there with its nose right on it, smelling yeah. it. So, anyway, I don't know. How, I mean, okay. I do. Of course, you have mixed feelings about they've killed it, but these animals are being like invasive. Killed and anyway, and they are a giant problem. And this is the yarn has come out of that. It's not like they were breeding them to create, to kill them. To get the yarn. Right. It's an out of control population from what I understand or have right. been told. Yeah. I am not right. a professional. 
Don't call me. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, back to things created equal. Um, January, February are sold out. She does have some of the March available. Does she? Okay, good. Yeah. And then you can uh, purchase... And is April up yet or no? April, yes. April is there to buy and also the automatic subscription. Okay, so what's the inspo, color, inspo picture for April? Do you see a picture? No. Well, oh, just it's the same picture. It looks like the same picture. We don't know what we're doing. Yeah, it's it's not showing. Anyway, I don't know what's coming. All I do know is I would for sure take a mystery club from her. I love her colors. Her colors are really soft. You're not going to get a crazy, like, crazy color neon thing from her, I don't think. Okay. I mean, I would guess. Yeah, not that I've seen anyway. Um, somebody just said that the possums kill native other native wildlife in New Zealand. Right. We don't want that. So, I mean. Good day. It wasn't my decision to, but I'm pretty happy about, you know, the yarn version of it. Yeah. Anyway, it's so, very calm. It is like, Basic I don't feel DK good. and basic sock. Um, now I have Apple Pay, which is really great. Uh, you don't need to know your Visa number. No. Um, um, I love supporting people like that. Totally. I love... So a possum is different than an old possum? Poss old possum. Old possum, like that you see in the States. Yeah. That are the hard shell and the weird... Right? Or what are they? An opossum doesn't have a hard shell. Opossums are really cute with the curly... Like tail? There, that's not the animal that we're talking about. Like if you give Google New Zealand possum with a P. Possum. It's di it's different. different. I mean, they kind of look the same, but not. Are they both? That's what they are? Kind I don't of a know. cross between a I don't know, you a guys. Raccoon I, maybe and I'm a... wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. You're thinking of an armadillo. I am thinking Alexa, of an armadillo. Alexa, what is a possum? Anyway, you guys, they're so cute. Alexa, Send buy it. me some yarn. Um, that's adorable. Okay, somebody else that's going to be in Knit City. I know. And I know I showed a bag three weeks ago. That was a gift. So that was not mine. Did you buy this at the same time? The, I bought this like pretty much right after oh, our last okay. video. This was a ready to ship bag. This is oh, was Angela, who is Mishnock. Something like go. that. She does Harris tweed and um, tartan bags mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And she had this one ready to ship. And I thought, well, I would totally choose that anyway. So it's got a I yellow. I totally choose that. Yellow lining. And it's this beautiful, mm -hmm. you know, this is woven wool Harris tweed and some leather hand. She's awesome. And she's got a, a booth at Knit City. Yes. And I know I'm going to come home with a tartan bag. Yeah. That's one thing I know I'm going to buy. Anyway, I can't I see bring, I'm going to bring this one. I can't see myself buying a ton of yarn, but who knows? <laughs> Somebody just said, Alexa, what's possum yarn? <laughs> Alexa, do Tracy and Jody know anything? No. no. Yeah. Anyway, it seems like all the clubs that I ordered came. Uh, I'm in the sock club for lichen and lace, and this is their color for March. It was called minty. Lichen and lace. It's so not, pretty. It's not something I see often, but every time I see her yarn, right, it's so beautiful. It is super, super, super beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so somebody said the the possum, the North American, and the New Zealand are basically the same thing, but different. Same, same but different. But different. Yeah, lichen and lace. Um, and it's Jody, I don't clubs? know what happened. I gotta stop buying yarn. Is this clubs? This one's not a club. Oh, okay. That was a club. I have, this is my, this club came. That's so beautiful. So Scrumptious Pearl, if you were in the Scrumptious Pearl Yellowstone Sock Club. Yes. And you don't want to see it, because I did kind of <gasps> just get this. I heart rip. Totally. This is the inspiration photo. Don't you love him? So much. Yeah. Yeah. So much. Yeah. And this is the yarn. What? Oh, that's so good. Yeah. It's beautiful. So um, if you're coming to Knit City Montreal, you'll be able to get Scrumptious Pearl Yarn in the Thread and Maple booth. Are they together? And Stephanie, Scrumptious Pearl Dyer, is going to be there. Yes. 
And thread and maple. And thread and maple. And our friends from the Red Mitten. Yes, yes. Jolene and Carrie. Yeah. Yeah, I know, Jody. I know. Tracy, I feel like And we haven't contacted, like, we're, anyway. You're going to shit the bed. I'm not going to shit Tracy, the bed, Jody. Mark my words. Jody, it's already coming. It's going to oh, be diarrhea. I'm not even bringing my wallet. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> and I, Sunday morning, Tracy. I saw a beautiful post from Roots and Rain's Yarn. Donna, she's out in, I believe, Ontario. She does naturally dye. So it's a uh, non-superwash yarn. This is DK. I bought it for you. Do you want it? It's amazing. I bought it for you. This gray. No, you didn't. Yes, I really did. It's really beautiful. It's super, feel it. It's super soft. She dyes things naturally. Like this was dyed with indigo. This is a different base. This is a sport weight single ply. This would be amazing cables. Jody, it's, I came and I Thank thought it you, was so beautiful. It. Yeah, I did buy it for you. This is a more rustic single ply, but it is her sock base. So it's spun to be sock and the breeds are, and it's got 20% nylon. So this is going to make like a thicker is boot beautiful. sock. Isn't okay, it? That's nice. nice. Yeah. So, and she does oh, nat naturally you. dye. So. Gosh, that's soft. Yeah. I think people, lots of people know about her yarn, yeah. but it, it really is beautiful. She dyes it with rainwater. Like she really does. Really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Small batch, naturally hand dyed using rainwater. Ooh, love it. So. So sweet. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Yarn. I would really like to knit. I feel like that yarn would be beautiful for a sweater, but I, I would like to knit thick socks with it. Oh, gorgeous. So anyway, Joe, that's. You guys. Thanks for the vote of confidence. We're done in two hours. We're actually not done, but we're kind of done. The regular program. I am done. Let's just say that. Okay. <laughs> I am so, so I'm no. getting hungry too. Anyway. I am getting hungry. I don't have much to do. I have to go to the pharmacy. You got to pack a bag and check us in. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to cook. You should see if you can upgrade. I don't think anybody else knows that. You should see if you can upgrade. Okay. I'll look into it. I don't know. As long as it's not $5 million. Or even if that's an option with Air Canada. I know we have a um, an exit roll already. Okay, good. For sure. For sure. Um, I'm no... <laughs> I'm no, like... I'm no newbie when it comes to booking flights, But right? does our seat recline? Do you, do you recline your seat? Are you that person that reclines into me behind you? I might do it an inch or two. Like, I'm not going to do it the whole way. No, I'm not that person. Okay. No, and it's fine if it's not. Okay, I'll double check. Um, so we have collaborated hey. with Steph, who is the creative knitter. She's awesome. She's amazing. She does those really funky rainbow mittens. She is... So good at minis. And I think that's how how we came to know her, is that she dyed these amazing sets of ra minis, rainbow minis, and then a muted more mini, and then like an autumn -y color. Like she is queen of these yes. big mini rainbow sets. Mm -hmm. So yes, we were so excited that she said yes to working with us. Yeah. These are 25 gram minis. She said, is it okay if they're 25? I was like, um, people are going to love that. So this is like two full skeins of yarn. Yes. I almost, it's funny when I was taking pictures, I was thinking that could just be a combo. Super. And then this. You get a ton of yarn in this. But then all together. Yeah. It's amazing. So these are in our grocery girls shop right now. There's a limited number. They literally just rolled in yesterday yes. afternoon and Jody was so awesome. She took pictures and listed them right away. Um, so we did the, the email went out at dinner time last night and you guys are the, so we always love sharing those, right? We love sharing those. Yeah. For I sure. think the colors are amazing. They are literally exactly, yeah, exactly what we sent as far as. Okay. Sorry. Former don't choose in front of the exit row. Because that one doesn't recline, maybe? That one doesn't recline because you can't have, when you're, it's an extra sure. row. Okay, so extra rows were good, just not in front. Yeah. And then the back one, because you're against a wall. We flew to Arizona with Swoop Airlines. Yeah. Did you have a seat? Which was super inexpensive. Like it was half the price of WestJet, but we were flying specific dates and we weren't able to find lots of options. And so I was really nervous flying them. Let me tell you. You need to, <laughs> I'm a short person and coming home, I did not have the extra, it was jammed. Were your knees touching? Well, it was really tight. Like by the time you put down your little tray, it was like, you are jammed in there. 
So, I love flight okay. attendants. I love flight attendants. Yeah. I feel like I want to tip them every time. They work their butts off they on really the planes. Do. And they're amazing. Yeah. Um, so, luckily, it worked out fine. But when we paid for the extra legroom, it was cr a huge amount. Like, even for Jeff, who's like a foot taller okay. than me, it was good. But Perfect. Yeah. It was interesting. <gasps> oh so, it looks like a bar so excited. Really? Is it pink? Yeah, their color's pink. It's like oh, gray with hot pink. We're flying swoop in the summer. Are you? Yeah. yeah. Fingers crossed we get there. Just make you will get there. Like sometimes you've heard like sometimes they get It makes me nervous canceled. that there's so much less expensive, but then you're paying for everything. You pay for your seat. You pay for every bag. You pay for your carry-on. Yeah. It pay still for comes everything. to considerably less. Oh, listen. It was half the price. Even, yes. even all in, it was half the price. Yeah. Totally. So swoop in and swoop out. Exactly. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so these are available right now in um, Grocery Girls. I don't know what I, I'm going to make, but it's going to be beautiful. I actually Isn't it so springy? Yeah. I thought immediately I want to cast it on, hold it double and knit like a really fun stripey something. Sock or hat or... Like you can do so much. You can do like marling from one to the next where you're... You know what I mean? It would be really beautiful. Oh, Yeah. I can't it's wait to endless. see what people make with it. This is yours. Is it? Don't, yes. Don't take all my minis. Yeah, that's yours. Yeah. So Stephanie is the creative knitter. So she's an indie dyer who also owns a yarn shop out in Ontario. So um, if you're out that way, there, I think it's Ridgeway, Ontario. And I, I don't know if that's right around Toronto or where that is. But she has the cutest little yarn shop that she just opened in the last Would year. Would you love to be able to? It's so nice. Okay, you guys, so let me just so say... So if we go out that way, I really want to go. It's actually, I mean, freezing rain morning tomorrow in Montreal, but it's supposed to be 14. Oh, well, that's free perfect. Freezing rain at night, right? Yeah, yeah perfect. Like we're good. I would love to see a little bit of old Montreal. And I want to eat a Montreal smoked sandwich, and or Montreal meat, smoked meat. Yeah. Those are my goals. <laughs> that's it. Would just you that. have anything you want to do? No. Yeah. No. We've just been so busy. We really haven't been thinking about going away, but yeah. And the weekends fly by. Like it's just going to be gone It'll before be a you know it. We're three nights. And if you're coming to Knit City Montreal, we are going to be in the Sonder Yarn booth Saturday at two o'clock. Come say hi. Yeah. Please and come say hi. get some Sonder yarn. I am so glad I knit that Sonder striped yarn. So that's what I'm wearing Saturday. Good. What are you wearing? Yeah, I'm going to wear, I'll wear my sweater and Sonder yarn. Yeah. Okay, so I have Frankie Gay Fibers. Jody, you guys have been going crazy. Oh my um, gosh. I might have like shown this before, but I couldn't remember because it was three weeks ago. I know, I can't remember anything that happened. So I'm time. just going to go over some of the colors. And let me tell you, the shop is stocked. Okay, let me just start by saying this. So three weeks ago, I had the sale, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody who came and looked and purchased. I started getting emails two days ago. From only the Canadian customers. Uh oh. I think that whole bag that was picked up, 44 orders. Oh no. Like the grocery girls, is gone. How does that happen with Canada Post? Here's the thing. It's all tracked. It's picked up and checked off when it leaves my house. Right. It's in giant clear bags. And it, they have to scan. Not everyone. It's a there's a matter of It's a of one. It's, but one. it's checked off. James right. takes it. It's it's in your hands now. What happens? Between my house and the depot. Not necessarily that. So but that bag the gets to the depot. And then what? From the depot because it goes to the West End Depot. Right. But then, like, but then it goes to the big downtown sorting thing. They don't thing. disappear. Like 40 You guys. Jody, that's awful. And every package is only insured up to $100. I lose so much. This happened, do you guys remember, with the grocery girls? And it took how many months for them for, to pay us? It's Cap not going to be a question whether they pay me... It's going to be, you pay me in two weeks because you have my money. Right. I paid you it's immediately. It's not good. So anybody looking, please know I'm on it. Um, I know what orders they are. I'm, I'm probably going to have to refund everybody next week. 44 orders. That's really terrible. Anyway. Jody. And so, super frustrating for, like, you have the, you sympathize with the customers because they just want their yarn. I am so unhappy with Canada Post. Yeah. I can't even tell yeah. you. Yeah. Like that's the third time in a, and in they charge third, so third much. Third time in two years. Yeah, that full bag. It must of happen. Like it can't just happen to us. It must happen all the time. I don't. I don't know what to tell you, and I don't know. Like, yeah, it's it's awful. It's awful to the point where yes, I understand 
that there's a certain amount it's insured to. But me as a small business, right. that's a lot of money lost. Right. And it's like, I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do for you. Right. Anyway, um, this is yarn that's in our shop that right now. Okay, here's some beauties. This one is called Purple Prince. I think I did show that. That's really pretty. This is a new color called Lip Gloss. This is so, so this pretty. is like even brighter than... So this is pinker than overdramatic yes. and brighter. Yes. It's really good. Lip gloss. And it's really available. good. I have DK, sparkle DK. I have fingering and sparkle fingering for all the bases. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. This next one. Jordy, was kind of, and it's so soft. Your ba the base is beautiful. This is March Madness. That was a crazy one. I like those dark ones. That was March Madness too. Oh, this one is really pretty. This is Marine Life. If That's you're really beautiful. A blue fan. I love that rich Mediterranean blue. Like yeah. instantly you think, oh, so pretty. I'm on holidays. Um, tequila Sunrise. I really like that. Isn't that pretty? I love the yellow and pink together and black. I love it too. Well, that's me. I this would make an color. amazing love note. Yes. What color mohair would you put with that? Well, it's what, like, do you want to tone it down? Like a pale peachy color, I you think. You could, and that would give an overall more, and then the bring pink. more pink. Yeah, that's really pretty. Right? Yeah. Love it. Um, goldfinch. That's pretty. Kind of yellow. Um, oh, Weekend Getaway. <gasps> that's my sweater. This is with the sparkle. That's awesome. I actually chose not to do sparkle. Do you think sparkle would have shown through with the mohair? Super subtle. But yeah. who knows, really? Yeah. Jordan was teasing me. You know what would have been cute, though? The DK sparkle, where you don't yes. need mohair. Then so it, then it would for yeah. sure be sparkle. Yeah. But I still want to knit, knit a love note with holding Amanda's sequined yarn. I really do. Pale gray with my silver rainbow. Oh, rainbow. With, nice. I think it's right here. Yeah. So it's a silver thread with rainbow sequins. Mm. So I would do gray yarn and pale gray mohair. Hey, that would be so beautiful. Right? Yes. It is it's happening for sure. Oh my god. Hello from Texas. First time what? caller, long time listener. Do you know how funny that is? <laughs> I love that. Um, caller, are you there? That's so funny. Um, crocus. It you guys, I picked these two colors and then I thought, this is really Halloween-y. It's like it's orange. really pretty though. And then yeah, Halloween-y, but whatever. Someone will like it. Halloween-y. And then it's got you said weenie. I said weenie. I also said the C word. Yeah, really. Like I think I shocked you. It's like, if we if we weren't in danger of being kicked off YouTube before, perhaps today. I didn't use I made it into a big word, so whatever. Um, oh, this is the old Okay, so here you guys can see the difference. I the pink that's this is over dramatic. That's and so this is pretty. what I initially knit this sweater in. But then I thought to myself, I don't know why. I wanted it. You wanted it brighter. brighter. So then I over dyed it with the same color of pink, but just darker. So are you going to make yarn that color now for other people to make the same I love know. note? This is really, I this mean, was, I don't know what made me. This want, is amazing. This I is a, think over dramatic yeah. is incredible all by itself. And if you just put a, like a hotter pink yeah. color with it, right? Yeah. yeah. I super love the neon coral. This neon is coral, one. I feel like is. One of my tickled pink addictions. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I love tickled pink. This one is Lucky Charms. Ooh, that's a good green. Lots of different greens in there. That one's really pretty. I wonder if people are making love notes with double-stranded fingering. Like there's lot, some people don't like mohair. Right. Ooh, that would be I'm nice. I'm very suspicious of that. You could have allergy, whatever. Um, meddling Kids. People are so nostalgic about this colorway because this is Scooby-Doo. It's perfect colors to match, too. right? Yeah. So people are like, oh my God, it was my kid's favorite. I need to get those to make socks. We watched, I've seen every Scooby-Doo. Our kids loved Scooby-Doo. We still. And the live action movie? Yes. Yeah. Um, somebody was just asking in the chat if you can make the love note without mohair, and you absolutely can. It says right in the pattern that you can do DK. So it's a 16 stitch gauge. 16 stitches over four inches or 10 centimeters. Yeah. So whatever you want. Like yeah. some people use Surrey Alpaca because it's, it is, I think, softer. I don't have an issue with mohair, so I would use either. Um, there's like lace weight alpaca that you can hold mm -hmm. with sock. There's all kinds of things, but anything you can do to get close to that 
16 stitch gauge. So whether it's DK or worsted, you can use worsted. Sure you can. Like there's, it's just really matching the gauge, but your, your yardage of yarn will be, you know, just keep an eye on that too. Cause you'll need a lot. Yeah. 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 Um, Persephone, this was also, there was only four. Um, I just did one pen. This was another option for my, I was going to say that would be amazing on you for a okay, note. This was my other option Beautiful. that I did. There was what only color mohair would you put with it? Gray? I had a light gray. Yeah. A medium ish. It would gray. be beautiful. So that I just chose to list in the shop, but it's so good. There's so Jody, many speckles. That's a great color. I might I'll have to redo that on all the bases. I totally agree. And then this one is called Oceanid. Oh my god. Ocean Oceanid. Oh. Do you know that's another name for um a mermaid? Uh no. I don't believe it. Jordan said it is. But Jordan's been Googling it. words for names of yarn. Um so this is very mermaidy, right? Mm -hmm. Like ocean yeah. mermaidy. So this pretty. is called Oceanid. And it's got that pink that I love. I told her I was going to change purple. the name, but I was teasing her. But I was like, what is that? Even <laughs> if I can't say it and I don't know what it is, I'm going to veto it. Alexa, what's Oceanid? Um, this is also a really fine speckle. That's super pretty. I think I showed this. That's Pirate King. And then we just. You guys were very um, oceany. You know, we kind of gravitate. You kind of gravitate sure. to the colors you like. Yeah. This I'm obsessed with, you guys. Heat wave. That again would be a beautiful love note. It's kind of got the coral in there. It's got purples and it's got like um, periwinkle in there. But that is a yarn set. Somebody said they want a Mrs. Brown's bag, which is Jody's other company, in Frankie Gray colors. I nominate yeah. over dramatic. Yes. On bulky. I have bulky. So next time I dye it, I'll throw a skein in. That's what I nominate. I love that. But you have lot, or, or even your Frankie Gray color. I actually think I should have that. Probably. Right. Um, this is a white elephant. It's just. Which means get it. It's a one, I didn't, one of a we kind. We didn't write it down. Yeah. Yeah. That's a white elephant. And there's lots of, there's lots of. That's success. pretty. This was called Young Folk. But this is just. It's got some lollipop in there. That's very pretty. It's got pretty. some neon coral. It's got some purples, some greens and aquas. This knits up really, really That's pretty. really pretty. So that's just a snippet, you guys. The shop is plum full. Okay, did you hear that Alec Baldwin and his wife are going to have baby number seven? I said that to Jordan with me. She is a baby factory. And listen, her two last babies, I think... Do you think they adopted or served? I'm not sure what happened. Because the last Because she two, had a baby and then all of a sudden there was another baby. They're not I don't that know. old. Yeah. That's amazing. You don't hear of big families like that. Wow. Yeah, amazing. Amazing. So what are you watching right Jody, now? I'm the worst. Oh, Bridgerton, of course. I'm going to download the rest um, of that. Uh, the whole thing she watched. Well, and I... Why didn't I? I don't know what happened. Mm. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, I'm only a few episodes into it. Love it. Yeah. Love it. She said very little sex scenes compared to last time. Hmm. One. I was waiting. One? Time. Oh, forget it. I'm not finishing she it. She had read an article about um, that people complained. Well, it was pretty smoking hot last yeah. time. Why do you think I watched it? Right. And I... Reggae John Paul. Right. He was amazing. Somebody, Patty said she was a little bit disappointed. Oh, no. FrankieGrayFiber.com is where you can find the yarn. Um, I don't know, Joe. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not watching anything super good. You know what I just started watching? Have you ever seen episodes of Shaw's of Sunset? No, but that, I've heard of the show. It's about, it follows this group of Persian, um, young, wealthy, ambitious, beautiful right. people. Um, I think I'm going to love it. There's nine seasons. It's all reality. Uh, Mom says, have a great time at Knit City. We <gasps> will, Mom. You're watching. We'll text you. Um, what else? What am I watching? I don't know, man. Oh, my God. Jordan just sent this. What? A definition of ocean ed. Well, I love it that your kids are watching your live stream, Jody. I think she just watches. That's so funny. Somebody, Kathleen said, have you seen 1883? We watched that. We watched Yellowstone. We're, I'm watching Survivor. 
I'm watching the celebrity get me at no what's that one yeah. where they're in the jungle what do you think? Meta was very nervous I loved him I did I really love him I wish he didn't go home and you know I felt but I appreciate it I felt his anxiety like it was just too much we're, we're right. thinking you're a big guy just stay out there but right it's the mental health thing is so real you guys he just it was way too much for right. him and I, can you imagine being like on the verge of a panic attack the whole time, kind of, right? That's basically That's, what it feels is. feels terrible. It's not that he physically couldn't do it. Just right. mentally, that was not his right. wheelhouse. I mean, you hope that you don't regret it later, yeah. right? Um, but I know, sort of, I feel like I would be the same. I would, I would love to go on safari in Africa. Like, love, it's a dream of mine. But I feel like I would not sleep a wink. Like, I would literally be, you know, if you're you in it. What are you talking about? You're in a yurt. You're totally. <laughs> I still think I am a total worrier about that stuff. I mean, I would love, it would be an absolute top of my list dream to go do that. But I think I'm just a basket case as far as worrying about. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm in their backyard. Yeah. Right? So. Yeah. Um, we had a conversation about the prime movie with Ben Affleck called Deep. Is it Deep Water? You said, did you like it? And I was like, it's all right. Okay, like, I told Jordan I thought you said you liked it. Boring. Did you watch the whole thing? Yes, I kept, you're invested. Okay, <laughs> it was like you kept waiting for something to I, happen and then nothing happened and the movie ended. Well, they kill that guy. I know, but it was, it was the person the It was whole time. very weird. It was one of those like psychological, it was you're right. Like it was weird. I was waiting for something to happen, and it didn't. I was waiting for a twist. I mean, at and the end, I just keep thinking, well, I guess that's what these people do. She, like he likes her doing this. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. It was weird. It was weird. I didn't love it. We did watch the whole thing, but it's like, yeah, I would like those couple mm -hmm. of hours back for sure. The Adam Project. The Adam Project that was super cute. Was amazing. Um, I want to watch Coda. I know. After all the buzz about it, and I keep meaning to watch Coda, I know I'm going to love that. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to love I that. did watch King Richard Sunday afternoon. Amazing. It's amazing. I've seen that. Loved I did it. watch um, West Side Story. Yeah. I mean, these are all like... No, I'm not a musical We're girl. not telling anybody anything they don't know. If you love musicals, West Side Story was amazing. Okay. It was beautiful to watch. Yeah. Like, it was And she won beautiful. Best Actress. Best Supporting Actress, Support which is huge. Yeah. Huge. Okay. I bought Jackass Forever <gasps> yesterday. I want to see that. It was good. Was it good? Yes. I, sh I don't really, I want to watch it and not tell anybody that I watched it. Oh no, I, I bought really it. I really want to watch it. We, I get such entertainment. I mean, I think people are going to judge me. I can't believe, I mean, I sit I there with it. my mouth open going, I can't yes. believe yes. they did this stuff. There's a couple new, there's a few new faces we're going to see that you're going to see this time. It does not disappoint. It's so good. Death on the Nile, Carson. I want to yes, see that. Yes, Carson, I want to watch that too. Is that streaming yet? Or is it to rent? Um, I'm also... Um, what did I go see when we went to the movie theater? We went to that... Um, Uncharted. Yeah, I went to Uncharted. So good. It was just... It was fun, entertaining. I love Tom yeah. Holland. and We went to I see... always call him Marky Mark. I know. <laughs> and like that old lady that... I know. Can't get it together. Yeah. He hasn't been Marky Mark for a while, but no, he's aging so well. Yeah. Um, I did go see The Lost City with the girls. Is that out too? Friday. Yes. Just I this lost Sandra Bullock. Tracy. It's so good. I love Brad Pitt. It is. It reminded me like of a Pirates of the Caribbean kind of Disney kind of uh, meets Indiana Jones. So good. Okay. So I'm, I've gotten very spoiled. I would rather pay $25 to watch it at home I know. than go to the theater anymore. I would love that option. Right. Yeah. Oh, I've watched Anna. And somebody said um, Inventing Anna and the Tinder Swindler, and I've watched them both. What's Upload? I haven't heard of that I haven't one. heard of Upload either. Yeah. So, so two I'll, have to look, I'll have to look it up. Um, I do love Netflix. Uh, Shari Lapinia. Um, I love her writing. I've, is, I've read some of hers before. This is like a classic whodunit in the family. Someone dead right at the very beginning, and it's like a... like. The whole story unravels, and it's like and I layers. Love... It's so good. I know. Is that cake? Is That's it... like a buzz show right now. It is. Yeah. 
um, Bad Vegan. Oh, I've seen um, people want. Uh, yeah, I would watch Bad Vegan. I love a, a documentary. Bad Vegan, especially really if good. it's like scandalous. Okay, right. Speaking of Alec Baldwin in Bad Vegan, the woman that they're interviewing and that this is like surrounded. Alec Baldwin was a good friend of hers and he was always coming there. Oh. And she said she turned down Alec Baldwin. He wanted something more serious and she had just either gotten out of something or wasn't ready. And then he met, Alec Baldwin met Hilaria at her restaurant. Oh. Okay. And she's like, he, for me, he was like the one that got away. I wish I would have. It's funny. She said. Really? Yeah. yeah anyway. Okay, um, I do love that. No, Harlan I, Coben is new. I out. love Harlan Coben. New Did book you? just came out. I haven't read it yet. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, that seems to be working out for Alec Baldwin. With the seven, seventh baby on the way. They must have several nannies. <laughs> you think? Right? I don't know. Wouldn't you? Um, would you have a night nurse? I would. Had all the I money? would not get to the point where I had seven kids and would need seven a bunch of nannies. Would you have a night nurse, just a night nurse, to feed your baby at night when it wakes up? No. If you could afford it? No. 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 I would you? Would. No. I don't no. Think I would. Is husband, that a trick question? My no. husband was my night nanny. Would I want one? Probably. No, I would never do that. No. Yeah. No. Not judging anybody that would. Yeah. I would just not make that choice. Yeah. Because I just wouldn't. Okay. Yeah. I have to get my nails Polish changed. Nail today. London I feel drugs. like I could use a haircut. Are you going to go? Well, you can't just go. I mean, it's fine. I think it's fine. Don't you think it's fine? Totally fine. Okay. Yeah, I think it's fine. You know what you do? Do but you have thinning scissors? No. What? No. You must go buy them. What? I don't even know how to use them. Well, you'll just pick up the top part. I mean, I just... Everywhere. And it cuts off half of whatever yes. you... looks like teeth. Okay, well. I'll Let me tell that. you, that will get you two extra weeks between your haircut. <laughs> Maybe I, I'm I'll not kidding you. Bring them with you. Okay, bring I will, yours with me. I'll do it for you. We'll do it in the hotel room. Yeah. If you f up my hair, Tracy, you can't. Get fucking trouble. You cannot f it up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I went and got my nails done yesterday. I agonized over. You went very light. I don't know how many colors. This is the color I own. Bubble bath. Uh, no. Don't bossa nova me around. It's a good color. It's just super neutral, but I had I was looking at like orangey reds, and I was looking at purple, and then I was like mm -hmm. <laughs> sweating, and I just said to, to Van, "Oh, just forget it. Let's just use this one." That's so funny. Thinning um, shears are the best. Tracy, I'm I cannot so out believe of the loop. you haven't owned them. Um, Go to Sally Beauty, right? Sally would yeah. carry thinning shears in the hair. Would Ulta side. in the states for sure? Mm -hmm. I don't know if they carry that. Ulta's more of like a. Yeah. Sephora e kind of. But I maybe actually, they would. I actually think London Drugs also carries them. Okay, Sephora. I went to Sephora recently. Yeah. Whoa. What? Just just you spend whoa. It time? It's you, like what'd you buy? Uh, that's where I bought I bought this face oil from Drunk Elephant. I'm liking it a lot. But it's like it's overwhelming what they have in there. Yeah. I haven't been in a Sephora forever. I go into a Sephora and I come out with five hundred dollars of things. That's I'll the problem. Never use. And like it's the same brownie pink lipstick that I've got at home, sure. but I'm like in a different. And way. that's where I saw that Tom Ford is seventy two dollars a tube. I buy. I bought one. I buy things that are in a price range that kind of makes you step back a bit sometimes. I couldn't do that. First of all, because I can't even wear lipstick anywhere, but. Um, anyway, so I thought to myself, $72 a tube? That's a lot. What is in this magic lipstick yeah. that it's twice Actually, the I price? didn't buy a Tom Ford. What other, didn't I bring that sparkle one one time? It was 50? I mean, that was steep. 50's a lot. 50's a lot. But it was a special one. It was like, sparkle. It's magical. It, it will make... Magical. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're looking for, but that tube will make it happen. Yeah. Um, yeah, I couldn't believe it. Could not believe it. $72. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so yesterday... It's a beautiful package, and the package totally gets me all the time. You know what? You don't have to spend that money to get really good makeup. I agree. I feel like that's kind of offensive, to be quite honest yeah. with you. It's just it's lipstick. It's not like well, it's I think... skincare or mm -hmm. something like that. But I did go in to buy my bronzer. It was gone. And it's mm -hmm. I bought it 
couple of years ago, and it was a company called Becca mm -hmm. from Australia. Um, and I wanted that again because it was so it? amazing. Becca is no longer. Yes. Could you go online and find it? Somewhere? No, like it's the company. The girl told me that it, they just don't because it used to be at Sephora only here. Mm -hmm. um, they they invented highlighter power powder. Becca. Becca. Like went out of business. Apparently, that's what the girl told me, and she's worked there forever. But I'm googling it. Um, I ended up buying some. What's her name? Charlotte Tilbury or whatever. I'm. Pale. I need bronzer. <laughs> but then it's like you go from brand to brand and it's like, I don't even know what to get. I mean, there's a little bit on Amazon. Yeah, but I don't think, like, it just might be stuff they're getting rid of. I loved it. So if, if I'm wrong, if you can still get Becca somewhere, I would really love to get the Bondi Beach bronzer back. It was awesome. And the lady that helped me, her name is Siri. I will never forget her name. Um, Beauty, Beauty Lish. Okay, that hair, has hairdresser says, don't go to town with thinning scissors. I won't go to town, but I mean, you certainly, if you add some, Tracy, I promise, I, I'd err on the side of caution with you. <gasps> oh, that's so funny. Becca Cosmetics. There are a couple of products, like I think Smashbox is a sister company or something, or I don't know what happened. What's it called? Bronzer? I don't Skin know what, protector. what the bronzer was called. It was bronzer powder, and the color I liked was Bondi Beach. Like, it was all Australian. It's an Australian company. I'm sending you this link. Okay. Okay, and now I'm just, now I feel like we're wasting people's times. But are we? Oh, and I've been watching Andy Warhol Diaries. What's that? It is a, it's a documentary. It's all based on, so it's all this footage of Andy Warhol and he was just super, super private and people, and all of this information came out after he passed away because he was writing in a diary. Oh. So it's narrated. It's, it's awesome. I love it. I love those kind of documentaries is and it it's like a an few episodes. It's not like an invasion of privacy. Um, no, not there is an Andy Warhol Foundation, so I'm sure whatever was done is above board and endorsed oh, okay. and all of that yeah. stuff. But they have someone narrating that's similar to his voice, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's good. I loved, I love Andy Warhol. Oh, so it's he was it's really fun. interesting. Wasn't yeah, he? really interesting. Yeah, and I don't know about a lot about it, so I love those kind of biographical yeah. autobiographies. Yeah, and it is a book. You can get the book. Okay, but I I love a documentary is there juicy stuff in there um i don't know about juicy but i mean it's just his life story yeah. and Above. i think it's i think it's super interesting yeah yeah so yeah. yes i would say juicy did you love pam and tommy no jordan loved it why didn't you like it just the whole i can't i did not think the story was interesting i watched okay. an episode mm -hmm. i think it's only four episodes right i don't know something like that um, I, I couldn't get into it. Mm -hmm. It was crazy because the actors look very much. And the first episode, I mean, Tommy was such an asshole, like not paying these. I didn't realize he was that. Construction was worker. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. And part of it is like, is this really true? Like, is this just some, I don't even know what it is, but no. it was, it was kind of stupid. Mm -hmm. I thought. As much as I like to know that kind of stuff, I couldn't right. get into it. Right. It was pretty funny, though. Like. <laughs> this is kind of a short episode. Two and a half hours. Jody, It makes me so happy. <laughs> and the last half hour is just babbling anyway. Yeah. Um, okay. We'll see everybody so we'll in Montreal. So we'll have so much. We're going to bring home some goodies from Knit City Montreal. We'll do a giveaway for someone that couldn't have been there. We'll yeah. try and do a little bit of live stuff. Hi, Laurel. Um, yeah, we'll try and bring a little bit of Knit, Knit City Montreal to our Instagram page this weekend. But yeah, because we're going to... We're going to Knit Night. Yeah. We're going to go in during setup. Maybe we can get some behind the scenes footage. Yes. So the Friday when it's not open, we're going to hopefully give you guys some sneak peeks. Well, we say behind... It's kind of our favorite. We say behind the scenes footage, but it's kind of like a preview. 
And it's sort of, I'm sure, super annoying to vendors because they're busting their butts making their booth. And we're like, hi. We don't stay long. Just no, a couple of minutes no, to say no, hello. No, 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 no. But yeah. Yeah. No. That but, way you could maybe follow us on Instagram and see some of these clips from the weekend. For sure. It's fun. It's fun. Listen, Knit Social um, puts on amazing events. And mm -hmm. it's just really fun to be going to the first one. And I think all these Eastern companies, so many of them are, are new to us. So yeah. That's really fun. Okay. Do you know what you want to buy? No. Do you just, have a pattern in mind? Don't just no. go around buying single skeins for hats. Although you could. Why not? I, I don't know, Trace. But that's, you know what? Going in with a some sort of plan. Not that I have to stick with it, but some sort of like a pattern or two. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's funny I, to say. Yeah. I have a couple of things. And now I'm going to be extra careful not to shit the bag, no, you like won't. you said. It will be. You just wait. Mark my words. No! Pack an extra... Can you, can you not pack in a really small suitcase? I'm not going to pack in a really small suitcase. You pack like you're taking a body home. I know. That suitcase is gigantic. You know what the worst thing is? Trying to jam all your stuff in a bag that's way too small. Yeah. 100%. You're right. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to take a lot of clothes. It's only three days. I know, I'm planning... I'm taking a lot of, like, black underlayers and a few sweaters. That's what I'm doing. It's my plan. Yeah. yeah and so then I throw a bunch of shit in at the end because I'm like, ah! I know. We'll be back in two weeks to share our Montreal... Yeah. Two weeks. We're yeah. back on track. Yeah, we're back on track. We're back on track. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Mm -hmm. We'll see you next time.